Can you guys hear me good? Yeah, can you? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Welcome back, y'all. We're here at uh, Heart of the Game, running some Street Fighter, you know, Tekken Grand Finals just wrapped up. I don't know what happened. I'm sure it was hype. It was definitely hype. Hell yeah, that's what I love to hear, but... We got we, we got a really good matchup coming up. You know we got uh, my boy my boy Bane and Minus Puncher. Minus Puncher. Who up punching they Minus? Does Bane still play Rashid? I don't know. He's been I, I think he's he's one of those dudes that's been going through like a character crisis. You know like the I mean the Geef is always there, but I've seen him. I, I think he was playing Ed earlier. Yeah. So like I, I don't know. It, just. Uh, I yeah. guess there's too many characters in this game. Yeah, he is playing Ed. Yeah, he's playing Ed. I think the Geef matchup might be... Well, Geef just in general might be easier on Modern. Yeah. For most people. Oh, yeah. Because he... I mean, you get less damage, but it's easier to do stuff. Supers and all that stuff, so... Yeah. I don't know. You can make it up with, with Modern. That's the thing that's, in my mind, kind of cool about it, but... For, you know, it depends on who you talk to, right? All right. Jumping off for it. And that, um, I don't even know what that, like, that, it's the, like that, the, the, the joint where, yeah, where he snatches you yeah. right in. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, mix-ups you can get off of that, right? Yeah, so. I, I think you can plus four after that, so you can either huh. empty jump, you can walk back, or you can press the button, because technically you're a plus. I've had people grab me, too. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I know he's been playing a whole lot of Ed, so his combo should be pretty sharp. Oh, yeah, that's death, yeah. He's making light work out of me as puncher right now. We just we just got going though, you know the DJ he's gotta he's gotta get warm, right? And was did uh did he enter Tekken as well? I think he did. Yeah, so you you gotta you know you gotta yeah, let you him gotta rock warm. a little bit, got a little warm up. See, we're in the training yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, you gotta let your the, the rhythm kick in. Real yeah, quick. he's got he's gotta <laughs> feel it. You feel me? You can't just start, right? Got to get a few drinks in him, you know. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice DP on wake up. Ooh, Let's see, nice. That's tough. Ooh. Yeah, this is bad for Minus because he's, he's losing the drive gauge every second he's staying in the corner. Yeah, and you de I don't want to be in the corner against anybody yeah. in this game, but yeah, yeah he's, he's dead, that's yeah. Good. So that's, and that's game one, but I, I feel like anything could happen. You know, you yeah. get DJ a little Ray and nephew. You know, <laughs> Dude, that ran be him, yeah, you know what I mean? Get, a, get him a few shots. Wait yeah. till the party starts, you know? Oh, man. Nice. But it's even even though we've had a little bit of time for Ed to be out yet, I, I still feel like a lot of people don't really know how to fight him yet. No, yeah, I mean, he's, he's kind of difficult to fight because he, he can get in and he can zone you out at yeah. the same time. So. The boxer character hitting me with projectiles from across the screen. You love to see yeah. that. They they got them shoes squeaking for no reason. For no reason. Because he could just stand over there chilling the whole game. And he could be super sticky too if you don't know what to do against like his level two. For sure. And he's just trying to stay at that range where his DP works. Because I know his DP is probably not the best out, out of everybody in the game, but. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's death too. So it hasn't it hasn't really turned on for Minus Puncher yet. Not yet. Not yet. I don't know if he'll have the chance. It, it always, it, even though this is a, a first to three, it always feels like you have just like one more set. You're like, ah, man, all right, I lost yeah. that one, but we'll, we'll get him back next time. We'll get him back next time. And now you're you're down like 2-0, and it's like, man, I got to win three in a row just yeah. to win this. Just to win this. Yeah, that's that's always a rough situation. Yeah, this is his chance right here, but he's, he's getting hit because there you go. He burnt out, so we got an opportunity if he's... If he's careful, push him to the corner. Just keep pushing him to ah, he got out. Yeah, let let him jump out there. Yeah. Those yeah. are those are always the situations you want back too. Yeah. Okay. God, that lasts forever. Ooh, that should be the round of the game. Yeah, that's that's. Ooh. Oh no, he whiffed it. He whiffed it. This is this is a good opportunity here. Oh my God, he drops the combo. He's chilling though. He's chilling though. He's chilling though. We don't know what he's gonna do. We don't know what he's gonna do. He's just getting started. <laughs> if he pushed the button, he was cooked. Nice. Yeah, it helps. It helps to be prepared for any opportunity that you get, right? Yeah. And, and we see it in that last game where it's just. 
with like two or three times where, yeah. where he could have brought that back. And that was that was only like a, a round two type situation too. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen in that round three, but you got to get there. Yeah, I think one of the biggest thing you got to do or learn in game situations, stick to the easy combos. Yep. Yeah, you because know, the hard ones, you could probably lab it as much as you can, but in game situation, the jitters hits in. The buttons don't work the same. Yeah, you know, uh, it's different. It, you start looking at your controller, yeah, like, wait, man, did I did I change on? something? Like, what? Why am I getting random tattoos out of nowhere? You know? Yeah, it's it's always it's always rough. You, consistency is key, just like in, in any fighting game. Yeah. This one especially, because I feel like, you know, you you take your damage. If you're chilling, if you know what you're doing, you're gonna win neutral again. Yeah. You know. But I know this this game encourages a lot of really like aggressive play, yeah. right? So it feels like you want to get in there, you want to beat the shit out of your opponent. Let me bust out the, the jelly ball here. Ooh. Okay. That was a good answer. What? Yeah, he really didn't have any other choice there. So now he just got to push him back to the corner. Oh, Lord. Uh, all right, well. Ah, maybe. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, this this last chance right here, hanging hanging by a yeah, thread. He's, he's burning himself out trying to get in. Nice. He's like, I got a fireball too. And we're we're pretty even here on on health too. Yeah. Like another one of those grabs. Ooh. Never mind. I love that we have a player mic here. That's always fun. I can never do that for my tournaments. Mm -hmm. They're they, they saying some foul stuff when they lose, you know? Yeah, Bane is definitely warmed up. He got the old lady in the back making yeah. sure he's winning. So he wasn't mm -hmm. he wasn't losing that. No, absolutely not. Yeah. If you if you, you can't bring your girl to the tournament yeah. and then lose like for first round. Because right. that's yeah, first round especially, that's yeah. an awkward ride home. On stream too. It's like <laughs> You just sit. You just sitting there like, it's okay. I know you take the grab. I know it's okay. I, <laughs> you brought me all the way out here just to lose. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's two ways that can go. Let's go, bro. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, good to see you, man. Thank you for oh, boy. You smash that one time. Yeah, yeah, man. Chorus, bro. I I got you if you're serious. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you. Okay, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I just yeah, I'll talk to you. Making deals, you know how that goes. <laughs> So who we got on, on, on set right now? We got Neo, Neo Russell? Neo Russell and Quasi Mojo. Quasi Mojo. I've played Quasi Mojo. It's been a while. Yeah. He, he's a modern Lily. I, is he modern? Yeah. I, it felt classic when I, I played yep. him I played him in round one. He's wild. Modern Lily? We got the Battle of the Moderns. Yeah. We're yeah. both man? Yeah, here we go. Yeah. It's 2024. It's time to get a little modern. You know, we're in modern times. These are two contemporary gentlemen, you know. They don't, they don't have time to remember all those quarter circle motions, you know. Nah, I, I tell you what, I did. A, I tried to do a quarter circle the other day, just you know, see what's going on. Like tore like all the ligaments in my thumb. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, bro. Oh, I promise you that. Have you guys seen Magnificent Guile yet? Mm -mm. Magnificent Guile. No. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's it's only unnecessary. Still has to charge. That's what I say about Honda. That's what I tell people about Honda, and they'll be like, "Man, modern Honda? Yeah, bro, you're." We still have to work. You see, that's the modern battle. All right. I think this is a bad matchup for Guy, actually, because she could just go through his fireball. She can. Oh, and Joe is on classic now. He is on classic. I was I was noticing whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, what? Yeah, they said and he just switched recently. That's I've, interesting. I feel like that that makes sense. Why are you trying to get more access to the toolkit? Just to yeah. More? And I, I feel like learning learning classic, honestly. Once you've once you've learned what you can do with modern, yeah. I, I feel like it's just a more satisfying experience going to classic, and you'll get more consistent because you'll have to practice more. Yeah. Right. You can't just you, know, you can't just roll out of bed and say I'm gonna try to go to, to bracket today. That's what I did, and look at where I'm at. You know. Nice. 
See that that pressure? Mm -hmm. That has was cooking me all set. All set. Yeah, he he flies in, and you think, all right, it's my turn, or you're just you're blocking low and somehow standing overhead. Yeah. Who that, gave her that? I, I think what I usually do against it if she, if she's doing an ex version of it, yeah, I have to be V reversal it. I don't know what's the proper term, like to push the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, I, that's the only one I do outside of that. The other ones I just block. But yeah. You, you can't sit there and take it all game because she's gonna get in and get a command grab and rinse and repeat. Yeah, the, it's it's the command grab that really kills you. Yeah. Ooh. But you know, Bill Russell not not looking as bad this this game. Ooh. Never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon. He's dead. Yeah. Missed the first game. He's just getting used to it. Yeah. I think we ha we haven't seen any flash kicks from him, so they're they're definitely coming. The flash kicks are coming. Yeah, they're coming. He's just adjusting to see like what the opponent is trying to do. There it is. Yeah, a couple flash kicks. Nice. Oh, that's just good. There it is. Good drive impact there. He's, he, he's warmed up now. And this is this is a scary situation in the corner Ooh. against anybody, Ooh. but Quasi Mojo able to make it out is it's gotta be big damage. Yep, there goes a flash kick. Spending so. a whole lot of meat. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's gotta be that's gotta Ooh. be big. That's a <laughs> lot of damage. And you know there's just more coming too. That's the crazy thing. She said, bump your fireball. I'm gonna go through it regardless. Honda Headbutt needs to do that. <laughs> the regular one too, no, not ooh, the EX train. Ooh, ooh. All right, they both got the, wow. Yeah, I I was almost gonna say like, are you sure you wanna, are, are you sure you wanna let him get his meter back? But I guess he, he made it happen. Nice. Yeah, she's just a attacking his drive gauge and he's gonna get burned out real quickly. That's the whole point of it. And once she burns out, I think that's exactly what Quasimojo is looking for. Yeah, cause all that all that Lily pressure just becomes even better. Yeah. You know? And Guile is definitely definitely a turtle character where you just wanna chill, you, you know, hold down and back and, and wait. And, and if you're burnt out outside of flash kick, you really have nothing going on for you. Yeah, it does have a it does have a level three on deck, but Yeah, that should be good. Yeah. This is looking rough right now. It's this stage. It is the stage. <laughs> I, if we could we might have to change the stage here. It's it's distracting. Yeah. You know, it's there's a there's a really big glare here too. We got this giant window over here where it's just <laughs> sun is blasting. So I feel him. You know, it's it, we're, it's rough conditions. Stop it, big sexy. <laughs> I was like, who the who the who the hell is this Twitter that says big sexy? I was like. <laughs> I love it when uh, I love when people from out of region travel here. It's always a good time, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, you gotta make the drive worth it, you know. For sure, for sure. And you know, I, I spent a lot of time in Toronto, so um, they have a they have a pretty cool scene up there. They run all their stuff on. Well, I know Incendium runs all their stuff on PCs. Yeah. Which is nuts to me, to to have that. Like, we got PS5s, but. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. I got I got Street Fighter. I'm doing Street Fighter. I get on my level in Toronto, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to go to CEC, but it didn't work out. But I'm definitely definitely trying to enter more stuff up there. Yeah. Is he gonna take a round? He is. He is. There it is. He woke up. I got one. <laughs> he woke up. It starts with one. Yeah. I played a hundred Tekken matches today. A <laughs> hundred Tekken <laughs> matches. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, he's in there. Ooh. And no, no response to the di. That's got to be big damage. Nice. That side switch is nuts. And is, what is that? A level? Yeah. yeah so this could. I was gonna say he's close to burnout. He's got like less than half a drive ticket yeah. left. Yeah, I think he's trying to burn him out because he's gonna get his drive back. Before. Yeah, that should be game. He's yeah. not coming back with this this much life. Yeah, that should be flash kick to finish it off. No, no flash kick. There it is. <laughs> he went down swinging though. I will say he went down swinging. All right, so I'm thinking Quasimodo is switching to mobs. 
That's you think me. so? All reliable? That's just me. Maybe. Oh, He's got no. He, he had no heavy kick. Oh. Bro, you need that. He didn't have a heavy kick this whole time. That's crazy. Wow. That's a flex. They took it off. <laughs> That's why I play default. Just uh, just set it to default. I don't gotta worry about anything. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Now what's gonna happen is he's he's gonna he's gonna be relying on heavy kick, and it's gonna get him punished. I mean, not having a heavy kick is going to get you punished because you, you're hoping it's coming out and it doesn't come out. Yeah, yeah. right? This time, though, I don't know. I don't know. He might be saying, all right, now I can get the heavy kicking, man. I got to show him what I'm about. But Well, we'll see. It's staying on classic, though, which I like. Nice. I like the, uh, like, aggressive style, just... Mm -hmm. Sending out, sending out the sonic boom and walking right behind it, you know. Nice. He's almost burnt out. Ooh, strong jump in there. Ooh. Dropped it, but still going with more damage. All right, Quasimodo, don't burn yourself out. You don't have to get in. Oh, that's blocked. But he's he's gonna get those couple hits like off the bat. I feel like. I feel like you almost have to, it's hard to react, but if you're playing modern, I feel like you could flash kick, you know? I, I'm not doing it, but somebody somebody with better reaction time could. Ooh, caught on the startup like that. Ooh. Ooh, all right. He's having a good time now. He's having a good time. I told, like the heavy kick was just weighing him down, mm -hmm. you know? Now he's got all his controls, he doesn't know what to press. Still no reaction on DI. He has optimal combos. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice. just that tiny walk back. Nice. This has gotta be big Ooh, damage. The boom loop. Wow. Yup, that's crazy. Are we we going to game five? We're going to game five. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. He's got a little bit. I forgot, it's modern, it's modern. It's gonna look really silly if he if he ends up losing this. There Ooh. it is. All right, this is it. It's game five. Two two game five. Buffalo versus there Toronto. Is. There is the counter di. So now he got those reactions. We've been looking for that all set, and now he's got him in the corner here. Never mind, we're flipped. Got out that corner. No DPs on jumping. Nice. Yeah, the, the drive deficit is crazy right now. Yeah. That's a great air to air. Yeah, I wonder what wonder what that is. But this is he's, he's about to get it back. Able to get the buff in there too. I love I love when you're able to do that. Just real quick. Nah. Oh. Yeah, that's got to be big damage. Ooh. No, he dropped it. Oh, this could be a problem here. Flash kick gets him out. Nice. Well, one more of those. One more of those. We're seeing Neo Russell take the first round. He hasn't really dropped anything since uh, since Quasimojo had to get his heavy kick. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Going to die off the chip. It's like getting cut by a Dorito. You hate to see it. Quasimodo is on game point. And Neo Russell is not letting him breathe. No, you really can't. Like, a guy could be so stifling. Mm -hmm. And then you finally get a chance. You, you jump in on him. You get hit with the flash kick. I'm surprised that he's trying to go for the air to airs here. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. That's, that's the combo he's looking for. Still chipping at his drive. Ooh, he's burnt oh, out. Oh, yeah, he's burnt, he's burnt out. out. He's going to try to get out of here. DI. 
<laughs> do it. Do it. Do you got it. Oh, he's got to respect. He might be might be a little worried that the yeah, level 1. I was going to say he might be worried that the super was going to come out there, you know, modern player in the corner. You know that's only one button. Yeah. Oh, that's a problem. Burnt out. Quasimodo is about to get his whole drive gauge back. And this is a huge... Okay, level Whoa. one. No, he breaks through it. That's death. Because it goes through firewalls. Yeah. Jeez. That's clean. That's crispy. That clean. Quasimodo, he made... You know, Neo Russell made him work for it. But, he did. But he definitely clutched it out. Helped defend Buffalo. Now, I play the loser of this one. This match right here, so. You play, you play the loser of this match right I play here? the loser of this match, yeah. So I know we have Hodor, or previous, or currently known as Rebrand. Rebrand. Yeah. Which, I wonder, what what is Rebrand? Like Maybe he's just rebranding himself. I'm not, that's, that's my... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's my thoughts on it. That's exactly what it is. Ah. He rebranded to Rebrand. I'm going to change my, my name to New Tag. <laughs> that's pretty good. New Tag, player player three. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't, I don't know. This is an interesting uh, matchup here. I was talking. Oh. Bet. What's going on, man? Am I ready? I don't know. You see, we got we got the whole setup here. What's that? You, you, you got it. It's, it should be on the left. I guess it doesn't matter. Or, Alrighty. I don't know. Yeah. I'll say our headphones are in mono. Don't yeah. matter which side. Okay. Mono, huh? All right. All right. Googie, by the way. Zambo. Zambo? Nice to meet you. Oh, nice right. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> are you uh, one of the Toronto players? I am one of the Toronto players. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nice, nice. You probably know more about this. You probably know more about this game than me. Oh, yeah? Oh yeah, I, I'm a I'm a Smash player, bro. A Smash player. <laughs> oh. Just, yeah, you know I I help out the FGC. I show up when I can, but I'm. Okay. No, that's what's know. up though. That's what's up. That's sick. And I do play Honda. How's the Smash uh, scene in Buffalo? Pretty pretty good. You know we we run every Monday same same spot. Oh okay. Yeah. So. That's um, solid. Are there any like players that I would know? These days, no. Um, Secret was like our big, oh, cool. our big player. Secret. I'm Otters, but he's also done with Smash. Oh, okay. oh that's got to be big damage. Uh, uh. Another headbutt. No, he oh. dropped that headbutt. But that's actually something he was telling me about. Um, when you get that that punish counter off the butt slam, yeah. To just go for the just go for the kick, go for the clap, and take the damage from the the buffed hands. Yeah. He was practicing that combo too earlier today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just wasn't hitting it. Cause it's it's more damage and it's that that um, that cancel mm -hmm. from the standing heavy kick to the sumo walk is just a real son of a bitch. Yeah. So I, I actually don't know much about Honda. Like we have a few Honda players, but not like top players. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So there's Roberto and then Neckbeard. Like those are our Honda players, but they're not like you don't see them too far. Plus Roberto doesn't play that often. But yeah, my Honda knowledge is very light. <laughs> You know, I play the character and I feel the same way sometimes. Because <laughs> we, we have a guy, uh, Station. Station yeah. Yeah. yeah, Station. Station's a monster with Honda. Mm -hmm. But the the cool thing about this is oh, nice. if, if Rebrand loses this, he has to play another Honda. Oh, yeah? Who's yeah. the other guy? Me. <laughs> <laughs> so. He's, he put him on the Grand Prix of Hondas. Yeah, but I, I tell you what, you, you deal with one Honda, you deal with them all, right? That's true. I mean, Just, I, I think I, I, I thought Bane was going to play Zangief. Yeah. So I thought I was doing the same thing, but for Zangief. <laughs> I played Blackstar, and then, but he, apparently he switched to Ed, so. Yeah, he's been playing, I feel like every time I show up, he's playing a different character. He I played know. me with, like, Guile last time we oh fought, so I don't know what's going on. I guess he's just going through, going through the roster right now. Oh, nice. Perfect parry. All right. Just goes for the back throw. I will say, that's... Yeah, you, you gotta be able to to challenge Honda. You you can't let him um can't let him butt slam you for no, free. You gotta let him know that you can perfect parry. Yeah, once you let him know you can perfect parry, it just becomes so much scarier for him, and then yeah. they slow down a little bit. Yeah, I've I've played some really stubborn Hondas before where they oh, yeah. don't slow down at all. Those people are really really frustrating to play against. Oh, I, I believe it. Just because the stubbornness just makes it so you always have to be on high alert. But 
Yeah, for sure. I mean, Roberto, 1 HP in a dream. All right, no. Oh, I get crossed up. All right. Yeah. First to three, though, so still got a long way to go. Long way to go. Rebrand, fully rebranded here. Shout oh, out, yeah. Shout out the Upstate Uproar t-shirt. You know, if you're looking for something to do in October, that's... It's, it's an event. It's a Buffalo thing? <laughs> it's uh, Rochester, so about an hour oh, east of here. Okay. Yeah. Damn, you guys have big scenes out here, though. You you say that? So it's like we have Buffalo. Rochester has a lot of uh, a lot of big universities. Oh yeah. So they have they have RIT. They have University of Rochester. They have Nazareth. So they have pretty big esports programs. And then we don't talk about Syracuse. Okay. But Syracuse also has a really good scene. They're okay. like closer to like the state capital out east. Oh, so. all right. That's two sumo walks. Uh. Into the Oisho throw. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, just just jumps away. Hold on. See, situations like that, I love when okay. when you get some Honda pressure and they jump. Because if you're chilling, you can just hit them with that mean headbutt mm -hmm. right as they come down in front of you. Yep. So what's uh, Reben's experience with Street Fighter? Because obviously he's really good in Tekken. Uh, if I'm being honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like he was playing Honda when the game came out. Oh, okay. Uh, but you know, you know how it is with these scenes. Everybody plays a little bit of everything. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. It's so. kind of it's kind of funny playing Luke, right? Because he, he plays Fang in Tekken. Yeah. Like, very similar. If, you, if you're familiar with the characters, <laughs> just in terms of like not only what they do, but also like their top tierness. You do what you gotta do. One hundred percent. If I'm playing multiple games in a day, I'm just playing the best characters possible. I mean, yeah, possible. you don't you don't want the headache. I I hundred percent get. Oh, nice. Not right. Spending it. Oh no! Didn't get it. No, that's that's tough. But he does does still have him in burnout. There's yeah. a lot you can do it. Oh, gets him with the sand blast and rebound goes up 2-0. So I was gonna say when you when you hit that not the non punish counter on the butt slam. Yeah. There's actually a, a meaty setup that you can do. You, you you dash. You can grab. You can get a, a crouching light punch as well. And that's on the counter hit, yeah. 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 Okay. And the the grab is just straight up. You're you're gonna get that most times because most people aren't expecting that. Like you. There it is. There it is. And see, that's the command grab. You can you can also do just like a regular grab. Right. But um, it's just it's one oh, of those things that makes the the butt slam that much more painful, especially if you know your opponent's not going to perfect parry it. Mm -hmm. So. You know what I noticed is that Rebrand's playing on stick. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he's a he was on pad when I played him in second. It's a rare thing these yeah, days. It's very rare. Cool though. I like to see that. Oh yeah. I um I have a stick myself. It's like a one of the weird hitbox ones, but I'm, I'm a pad player, nice. you know? That's true. I mean, with Smash, you would expect to be a pad player, right? Yeah. But, but I've heard that in Smash that that's a kind of a hot topic, though. For Melee, yeah. yeah. Nobody cares for Smash Ultimate. Oh, really? Yeah, it, like, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I, know? I mean, like, when you come from FGC, 100%, it doesn't really matter. It's because Melee's never had anything like that, so now they're trying to make it make sure that it's fair. Right. Sort of like how. Oh, uh, no. oh yeah, that's got to be a big punish. The sumo walk. Uh, okay. Just yep. Yeah. 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 Look at that damage. That's gonna be huge damage for sure. Yo, yo, yo. So funny. Gonna put him in that corner here. He's liable to get burnt out. Like oh, a, okay. a good headbutt on block. Oh, nice. Or just straight up headbutt. Little check there. Double headbutt. Oh no! He tried it again. Yeah, it definitely tried it again. That's always the worst feeling when you're when you're playing Honda. You miss that charge. You just get a jumping heavy. Okay, hold on. Chip is a problem right now. Oh god. Yeah. Just danced around him. Mm -hmm. So, Roberto showing some signs of life. Yeah. Which is what we like to see. In versus three, you never know, man. You never know. You really don't. No. Like one one thing I've learned is that like not that those first two games don't mean anything. Yeah. But if you're if you're struggling those first two games, you can definitely bring it back. 100%, and you get the information, right? Yeah. And that's a huge thing about at least modern games, is that although they are very volatile, it's because of the lack of information. Yeah, for sure. That's why a lot of Smash tournaments have started doing all best oh of five. Just, oh, don't let him do it again. Please <laughs> don't let him. Bro, I'm oh begging you, please God. don't let him do this to you. Okay, well, hold on. Big lead now, game three. You, oh my god. <laughs> oh, see, that's that's Honda. That's that the Honda, Honda that I know. That is Honda. Okay, but straight back into it. He's not he's not phased. No, definitely not. You're up 2-1. You're chilling. Yeah. You're playing the one of the best in the game. Uh-oh. I haven't seen a perfect parry in a long time, though. Yeah. He's trying. He's trying. He's definitely trying. Well, you have to wonder if he's changing up the timing on the butt slam. He might be. He might be. Light, medium, heavy all have different timings on, the, on that downward hit, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, now he's at the corner though. 
Oh, I tried it again. Good call though from Rebrand. Okay. Throw, throw loop city. Nice jump. That's a really good jump there. So he's he's got the buff. Oh, that was not safe. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't die just off of that. Like those full screen headbutts are so bad, but didn't have a chance to punish yeah. the uh, the DP. Oh, nice challenge. That was a forward heavy kick. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey man, if it works, yeah, whatever it works. works. Whatever works. Whatever hey, works. Another set point for Rebrand. Sand blast. He's just staying strong, holding charge, waiting to see what Rebrand does. But now he's on the offense again with these butt slams. You know, right here, there. Uh, caught him with the delayed crush medium punch, but again with the butt slams. Oh my god. Yeah, but, butt slam is putting. Oh yeah, and that's, that's gotta be big damage uh, right there. Uh, oh no, dropped it. But he's in burnout. So much ship with those headbutts, and he yeah. got him. So it's, it's, you, know, you got another you got another round. Let's take that. Might have been trying to hit the uh just the target combo after after the punish counter fucking chop. I don't yeah. know. You know what I'm trying to yeah. say. <laughs> it's been a long day, you know? <laughs> oh yeah. Nice, headbutt. So Rebrand has a chance to close this out. Mm -hmm. I if I'm being honest, this is the last thing you want to do is go to a game five against, against a Honda. A Honda, yeah. 100%. He's about to lose all his drive though. There it is. Oh my god, those. Oh, he got his jump. He's calling these jumps out right now. Oh, he got him. That's got it, yeah. That's yep. got to be a level three. I think that was a good idea. Three brand coming off tech and saying, get down here and fight me with a goddamn man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Like, we don't use the top of the screen in second. Oh, no. You're caught in the corner with when you're burnt out, though. Oh, he got the cross up. And, you know, that could oh, be. Oh, like... he got him. Is that dead? Oh. That is death. Oh, we're going to game five. We're going to game five. He doesn't even need the level three. Okay, we're Guess changing not. characters. Hold on. Maybe just taking time to think about it. I like that. Changing color, yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit, because it Red can be... Red makes you go faster. Red does make you go faster. Bro, that's orange. Am I bugging? It is orange. Uh, but we'll take it. It's my fault I'm wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Look at this guy. We got production wearing sunglasses. The color balance is all off. I'm also <laughs> colorblind, so you know what? You know, it does look red here, though. Yeah, see? I... All right. I, oh. feel, I feel him now. You can't see it on the stream, but on our monitor, it does look red, so... He was wearing the sunglasses when he set up the, uh... Yeah. This is an old monitor, yeah. too. There's that perfect parry, though, so that's good. Yeah, he's, he's got, got a... Mount, but he's... Yeah, he's trying to get the XTPs, but they're not going to catch if he goes cross them, so... Yeah, I, I feel like if you're not going to get the perfect parry, there is... Luke definitely has a, a fast enough anti-air to just he, straight up challenge yeah, he that, he was right? doing that earlier, but now that he's... Roberto switching up his timing and also going cross up a lot of the time... Yeah. Maybe he's not ready to do the cross cut. But here we go, Roberto, first set point. Of the set. This is always a scary situation. You know, Honda Honda's like one of those avalanche characters. That's it. Yep. Gets that back throw, get him in the corner. Oh yeah, he baited that one. Nice. Try set off with a drive rush. Good damage, but Okay, save jump. Roberto stays strong, gets gets back in the corner himself. Oh, there oh we go. another good perfect parry there from Rebrand. Oh, misses the combo though. Oh, there's there's that cross cut, okay. Or was that auto? I have no idea. <laughs> Happened too fast. Nice. Okay, now now the butt slam. We're not liberally butt slamming anymore. Yeah. Um, it's not gonna kill. But another grab. Okay. There we go. Or, or just final a jab final there. round. Rebrand Ooh. versus Roberto. Toronto versus Buffalo. Nice. Another he, perfect parry. Yeah. He's getting these timings down now. He had to switch colors. Hey, there it is. Red makes you perfect parry. It's true. <laughs> Okay. See, I feel like that was that was a butt slam where he changed up the timing. Yeah. So he is making it as hard as possible to get the perfect parry, which is always good. He's really going for this. This is okay. Ops not to go to the back throw. Just press go for damage. Drops the combo. We're back here again. Rebrand just almost out of drive. Okay, here we go. God. This this could be really bad. Yeah, you're burnt out. Uh, did he go over? Yes, he, he did. He did, and that uh, that's gonna be a problem for yeah. Rebrand too. He's nowhere near getting his drive gauge back. Okay, he's trying to bait. Yeah, he's trying to bait him. He wants to go for a headbutt, but Rebrand's trying to jump it. There it is. He catches the jump. Oh, he got out though. Hold yeah, on. Able to jump out, and now we're now we're back to playing the game. Nice, perfect, perfect parry. parry. This is definitely still doable for Rebrand. Punch that. Oh, but no super. Oh, here we go. He's getting these perfect parries. This is what he needs. Uh, another one. Yeah, yeah, the full screen headbutt. I don't know, man. I don't know. I've been get. I've been punished for those a lot. 
Oh, he tried it. Oh, here we go. God, that's so much of your health bar, too. Oh, Just... got him. Oh, here we go. This is it. Oh, oh he got him. Oh. Caught him doing the, the crouching heavy punch and just sand right in your eyes, man. <laughs> he left. He's gone. He was gone. He He's gone. gone. Where did he go? <laughs> He's gone. I feel him. I feel him. If I got if I got butt slammed like eight times in a row, I'd be feeling some type of way too. You know? I hope he doesn't think about Toronto all the way. Though. But GG's Rayban takes it over Roberto 3-2. Buffalo wins again. That's two for Buffalo now over two. Toronto. Yeah, you know. I mean, we gotta have something, right? Yeah, I mean. I mean <laughs> uh, we got cheaper housing. Whoa. Better, better Street Fighter player. I mean, I'm about to come up, so we'll see. All right, I'm up. Oh yeah, all right. We'll see how it goes. Oh my God, another another Buffalo versus Toronto match on stream here. Man, I gotta play it. I gotta you play against to the Honda. It. I do love to see it. We're we're really we're fighting in the street, dude. This is this is what we came here for. This is what the fans are tuned in for. If you're watching, you know, shout out you. If you're not watching, why not, bro? They wouldn't have heard that if they weren't. But you know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying. Welcome back. Thank you. I just had a, a crazy, crazy round against Monkey Business. Nice. How'd it go? I had to get. Okay. Ooh, I'm still shaking from it. <laughs> yeah. Now, well, now you can calm down. We're gonna have some some commentary. You know, we'll we'll be chill. Like, we'll do it golf style, maybe. So, the, who do we have on on deck right now? I know Bane is here. Yeah. The, oh man. Um. I lost my bro, train of thought. Bro, you just were hanging nah, out. Nah, I lost it. my train of thought, bro. Yo, relax, <laughs> relax, it. relax, 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 relax. I'm not going to say nothing. Who is it? You tell me, bro. Who is it? You tell me you're supposed I know to. Who it you're is. my man in the chair. I got it. It starts with a G. I know it does. Right, oh. His name is Big Sexy. It's not Umbuck. Oh, my bad. <laughs> 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 it's, Ed, it's Ed and Ken. Ed and Ken. Ed and Ken. Five letters between these dudes. <laughs> All right, Googie. Here we go. Okay. See, I knew it was. I just didn't want. I didn't want to say it wrong. You feel me? That's so that's all it was. Big sexy versus Googie. <laughs> uh, big sexy, aka Bane, the Bison main. Unbuff Bane. Is are they gonna put Bison in this game? I think so. They have, they don't have to, but it'd be fun if they it'd did. It'd be fun if they did. I mean, he's probably gonna be cheap like usual. Oh yeah, but that's the nature of the game. I mean, for a week three ad, maybe a month ad. Big Sex is looking pretty good right now. He certainly is. I, yeah. I was watching him uh, in his set against, I don't remember who he played. Uh, I think he played too. That's crazy, I just commentated that too. My memory is shot. Well, That's fine. I, I know he was not Quasimodra, but he was playing uh, DJ. Right? It, it was Minus Puncher. There we go. Yeah, that's puncher. It, that, we we go. both commentated yeah, that set. That's did. crazy. Uh, we can edit edit that out in, in post when we do the VOD. Like that, just That's how you know we get oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. It's it's like it's past my bedtime. What oh, is it, like nine yeah. o'clock? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. Nah. It's a wrap. Nine twenty even. We got ourselves a game here. Googie made a comeback. He did. And he was burnt out. That's always good to have to have those options when you're in burnout, you know? Yeah, I know Ken was supposed to be, or is supposed to be, one of the top tier characters in the game. He got nerfed a little bit to, you know, bring him back to life, but he's still good. He's still good. Still really good. I, I like, I like when they do that though. Like, I don't need a character to become useless. Yeah, just soften, soften it just a little. Just bit. soften just them up. Make, yeah. make them have to work for it a little bit and, more. You know. If they could delete Marissa, then we're good. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, we, whoa, can, whoa, we can do that. Now we can definitely do that. I'm all for that. Yeah. We don't need that shenanigans in the game. Just, you know, just, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the, uh, the Gladius. It know? is kind of crazy, even through, like, all of Ken's reign, we haven't had any local Kens for our players to get, like, offline experience with. We've never really had many Ken players. It's because Ken's, Ken's not that cool, you know? He's just, like, a construction worker. Yeah, and then he, he got that <laughs> second outfit where he's, like, a pimp or something. Yeah, I don't know what's Some going on with that. Conquistadors. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> He's a blue collar worker. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Oh. Right? I, me personally, I, you could probably just like drive Uber in your spare time, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, Conquistador works too. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not going to hate on a man getting his money. Oh, man. Conquistador. That would be a great uh, <laughs> username for one of the Conquistador. I've seen some good ones. I've definitely seen some good ones online. Nice. 
Could have got more damage from Edge with that combo, but he's just keeping it safe. We're chilling. We're right? chilling. I'm not trying to overextend, make any mistake here. Ooh. Oh, no. wow. He, sh he should have punished before drive. Ooh. Yeah, for sure. I feel like that might have been one of those situations where all you're going to get is like a grab yeah. off the perfect parry, but you got to do something, right? This is not looking good for him. He needs that level two to put that pressure on him. There it is. Yeah, there's the opening. Has the has there, the level two. There goes the level two. Toss the jelly ball at that man. Oh, that's so much damage on your block and burnout. Got out of there. Not looking good for big sexy right now. Could be worse though. It could be way worse. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Just he's like I'm pressing buttons. You gotta you just gotta find those little gaps. Yeah, those little gaps. Those little gaps, you know, just like, when I do that though, I'm I'm bodied. Yeah. And it looks like I had never blocked in my entire life. It, but it, I, it looks like you're pressing buttons on a plus situation. That's that's what it looks like. Yeah. But I mean, what is plus really? You know, it, it, when when I'm when I'm playing the game, I I, I paid for all the buttons. I'm a presser. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. I got like eight of these motherfuckers on the on the front of the controller, so I gotta do what I gotta do. But if Ooh. you're trying to win, maybe don't. Mm. Interesting combo choice. A strong parry there. Interesting combo choice just from, from Big Sexy. <laughs> why, why are we calling him Big Sexy? <laughs> like, wait a minute. I, and this is just, the, the VOD is just going to say that. They're going to be like, who, who, Who's Big Sexy? who is Big Sexy? Ooh. Oh, good counter DI. What's the combo here? Is he going to burn himself out? Yeah, but he's gonna take a round for it. That was. That so was it all works out. That was good. Mm. Mm. I don't think he's confident in his own combos because he's just he's getting the counter hits, but he's not confirming of it. Yeah, you can you can tell this character just came out, right? Mm -hmm. So there's definitely opportunities there for for Boogie to bring it back, but. It's mm, uh mm, oh mm, mm. DP. <laughs> well grab there. Double grab. I would have got grabbed there, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I gotta go play a sub. Don't spend the bar. It's not worth it. Don't oh. spend the bar. It's a not grab. worth it. If he makes the comeback, oh, he's uh, gonna spin the bar. He's spend it. It's not worth he's it. He's spinning the bar. Yeah. You... He figured. He figured. I think he he had him in burnout, right? So but I understand the thought process, right? He should have. He should have tried to force him to block it at least. Yeah. I, I feel like at that distance, uh, maybe not the best idea. But he knows. He knows more than me. Yeah. So I'll, I'll respect it. As long as it works. There you go. Combos are clicking now. Nice. Ooh. Gotta watch out, you're gonna get burnt out. Mm. Ooh, didn't get the crumple though, but it doesn't matter, he's gonna keep going. Nice. Big sexy is putting in work right now. Huge sexy even. Mm -hmm. Large attractive is up 2-0 <laughs> right now. He's at his serious business. <laughs> He's big sexy. Coined by Neo Russell in the back there. Large attractive. China China complete the 3-0. The mm. TO's dream. Mm. Mm. Burn himself out. No DP. They're just burning himself up today, huh? There we go. You know, use it if you got it. Oh, that's bad. A little Tweety Bird action here. GP. Nice. It's good. It's good gameplay. Caught him pressing a button trying to escape the corner pressure. We've yeah. all been there. Nice. Hmm. 
Mm. See, there's that grab. That's such a that's such a goofy situation when he just pulls Ooh. you in like that. There's the wall crumple. Mm. It's gotta be big damage. Oh, he's cooking now. He's filling himself. Oh yeah. He was like, I got a command grab. I feel like I'm playing Zangief right now. So look at that. There's another grab. Yeah, he's in his head. Definitely in his head. That's a German pressure. You know, it's mm -hmm. clean, it's efficient. He pulled up in the VW today and said, I'm gonna get some work done. Yeah. It's still possible for Gookie though. It is. Like, he's he's got he's got the level three on deck. He's gonna pop it here now. I respect I, it. I don't think I agree with it. You think so? He should have done at least level two. Cause now. Right? All Big Sexy has to do is pop his level two and try to burn him out. Oh, true, you're right. Because he hasn't built even one. Oh, that's, that's a big punish, yeah. But he's, he's burnt he out. Oh, man. Level two's coming. I can smell it. Ooh, oh, I, good. Yeah, good, good tech. I can smell it. He's trying to burn him out. You do what you got to do, because, uh, listen, if he plays this right, he's won the set, right? So mm -hmm. he's... Just be patient, right? There it is. Yeah, there's the opening. Is he going to get his level three off? Yes, he is. I don't think that's going to kill. No, it's not going to kill, but... So I think maybe, like, a level two combo could have worked here to, to set up, like, a... Yeah. Oh, that's really smart there yeah. from Googie, yeah. yeah. Yep, a level two combo would have worked there to set up like a mix up. Yeah. He popped a level three yeah. too early. Nice. Alright. Yeah, Big Sexy has to just get back to his, his rhythm. Because he has it pretty much one. But Googie's not going to make, make that easy for him. No, he's definitely going to make him work for it. That's always the worst when your opponent wins game three. Because now they're, they're so confident. They're yeah. so confident after winning that game three. That's always rough. But Googie proving that he's no slouch. Mm. like to see him checking those, those drive rushes with the jab. Nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't think Bane is gonna bother with the the mix up after the little tether. I think. Yeah. I think at this point, you know, he's gonna be pressing a button, trying to get out of that, especially low health. So I'm chilling. I'm just getting what uh, I'm just getting what the developers intended. No mix ups. No fun. Nice. He's keeping it simple. Not doing too much. Because when you keep it simple, you know, when neutral a few times, you win the game. No problem. Ooh. Oh, that's tough. Ooh. Oh, that's a good, perfect parry from Boogie there. He has him in the corner, but is he? No. Let's him jump out. He is burnt, burnt out, out, though. Bless you to whoever was sneezing. I, I was going to say the same <laughs> thing. That was a loud sneeze. That should be game. Yeah, that's game. How is it already game five? I feel like we were, we were just talking about it. We were just talking about how Bane was. Yeah, was, Bane was, was up. Pre he yeah, was he, up. He, he was. He got chilling. Shake his composure back together, but he's, he's going right back into it. So. Yeah, you know this is this is the winner side of the bracket too. Mm -hmm. So. If, if I'm Bane, I, I want to finish this out. I, I don't. I don't want to make this. I don't want to make this any more stressful than it already is. You know. You gotta burn him out. He might not get a chance. He might not. Ooh, Ooh the EXDP. He, he, he waited for that option until game five. Just to let him know that's not gonna work anymore. Yeah, you can't show your tricks too early. Yep. So I respect it. Especially in a best of five. Mm -hmm. Nice. But if he gets back there. to his command grab game, he might be able to bring it back, but 
You gotta stop getting hit. Oh, for sure. Hmm, excuse me. That's uh. And he's not. He's not stopping. He's still eating it. Nice level two. Nope. He need a breather. Something. Some kind of opening. Yeah. It's situations like this where it's like if you had, you know, if you had to confirm, there it is. Ooh. So I'm saying that's that's the level of health where you really should. But there it is. Game five, last round. There it is. He's like, you gotta put some respect on my Hey, come on now. Put some respect on Big Sexy. There we go. Ah oh, man. Mm -hmm. This think? is this is good. Ooh. I feel like that's that's the first time the all first set. Time yeah, for the jump in. Ooh. Oh yeah, good good throw escape there. So we're about dead even here mm -hmm. in, in health. Bane just looking for that opening. That level. Oh. Yeah, he gotta use something. Nice. Punch kind of grab. No level two yet, but I think we might be we might be getting close uh -oh. to where that's it. Oh, he has to use level three here. Yeah, this is not gonna kill, it's not but gonna it's kill, close. Though. Yeah, and if Bane wakes up to level two, he might be able to switch it up because he has full drive. Doesn't oh. go for the level two, but doesn't get grabbed. Oh! oh. You hate to see that. Mm, he was up two. He was up 2-0. He the was reverse. up 2-0, the reverse 3-0. <laughs> the reverse 3-0. All I'm saying is if, if if I get that, you get that feeling in the back of your head, it's like hot, you know? Yeah. I feel like I need to... I feel like I need to go hit a speed bag or something after that. Ooh. Man, the old lady gone. All right, I got to go. I got to play. Go. I got to play a Honda Ditto. Yeah. All right. I'm holding it down. We're going to see who we got coming up next. And you guys make sure to hit the Macharinos. Support locos, you know. Because we're definitely providing some good sets, some good height. Where'd everybody go? Okay. Yeah. He doesn't have to, he can leave. I'm, I'm the only one here. That's yeah, fine. That's <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Goodbye, my friend. It's, it's been nice. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the other side of the camera. right of all it is a left right mix up i'm not used to it yeah but damn that was dude my hands <laughs> were sweating yeah i could when i got that level three in the final round i my hands were slipping yeah <laughs> that was the bright light i noticed you did the well you a you did the optimal right which is set up with dragon lash i mean sorry uh yeah dragon lash kick set up raw level three so it doesn't scale yeah but you get tons of time to input the level three there and think about it which is almost enough time to choke yes yeah, you're that's, like how do i do a level three that's again? why that's why i was like yeah. dude my hands are gonna slip and i'm gonna i'm gonna drop it that's why yeah. i was like leaning forward it was like did i drop it but i did nope thankfully yeah. not that was put crazy. yourself in a good spot um he had a lot of drive to work with but very little life so i actually important. could have killed if i did the optimal combo to do the level three which is, you know what that is, right? Which is the... Minimize scaling, you do Crouch, Fierce, and the Heavy Jinrai Raw Level 3. Is that the best? Oh, okay. Because I was thinking... Heavy Jinrai, OD, Dragon Lash, Raw Level 3. Oh, oh, best. yeah, yeah. But that was without Drive Rush. Because yeah. I did it off of Crouch Medium Kick. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 scaling. Okay. So I did it with... Uh, I, I thought the best combo would, was like um, Crouch Heavy Punch, Run Cancel, Crouch Medium Punch. 
and then medium Jinrai, heavy follow up, and then super level three. Mm -hmm. I think that's. Yeah, you want to I, minimize the scaling. Yeah. Um, as the moment you drive rush cancel a low medium kick, your goal should be to end the combo almost as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. But damn, that was such a close set. Yeah. Clearly, uh, final, final. Possible more opponents for you being determined by this one. Doro's been on a deep winners run. He actually beat me three one and. Some trivia, I played him for like 25 games the other day, and he just had my number. Dora Pippa on Ken, bounced between Guile and Shun, and now finally land on a Ken. That seems to be the main for Doro after many months. Rebrand switched from DJ to Luke as of like two weeks ago, and immediately has better results as well. Yeah. Wearing that BFGC blue Buffalo Sabres hat, has Luke dressed to match. <laughs> I think he always has Luke dress in accordance with what player sign he's on. And so player oh, two okay. Luke is the blue. Oh, he's swapping yep. it up. Yep, and Doro on red, player one with red oh, Ken. Nice. That's good. Good punish on that sweep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Even if you do burn out, perfect knuckles will always give you a lot of time in the combo to build a little bit of drive oh, back. Yeah. That's oh, one yeah. of the Luke luxuries, but pretty much no luxuries in the corner in burnout. Doro <laughs> locking rebrand down with the lock function. Yeah, but there that it one, is. You can, still can jump out of low medium pick in a drive rush, but it's around oh, the. Oh my no. god. And it's such a huge swing. Can he get the side switch? No, he wants to do no. perfect knuckles. I get it. Going for the Oki, okay, all right. Gets the. Crush medium. Oh, there it is. Yeah, still plus, though. Okay. This is very much rebrands around a win at Throw this point. Oh, no wow. level one buffer. That yeah. should be the round if he doesn't drop a combo. What? Um, oh, um, my God. That like this. He got ODDP, but didn't have meter for drive on the slam dunk follow up yeah. and didn't spend level one. No. That's a big blunder, but it's yeah. okay. All at, good. After such a long comeback. <laughs> yeah. All good. We'll it, it's fine. It's still the first game. First yeah. to three. You have a lot of time to think about it. Definitely. Three out of five, everything. Hopefully, we can get you guys back across the border in time <laughs> at a reasonable hour. What time is it? <laughs> yeah, we got. We might have to speed things up. It's, almost, it's 9.30? 930. Yeah. But yeah. Here I am commentating instead of making sure people play losers <laughs> off stream. But I don't want to miss any of this. No, it's all good. This is a so give me some context of Duro Pippa because I have context on Rebrand, obviously a top second player here. Yeah, very much. So Duro Pippa, I saw him commentating. So, you know, what's his story? Like, what's the history? Duro Pippa plays every 2D fighting game. KOF. Duro plays Tekken. Infamous for making somebody rage quit their first time at locals in Tekken. Well, not even his main game, but it's been Street Fighter. He was pretty known for his gill in Street Fighter oh, V. Oh, okay. Uh, not a very popular character. Here he is on the most popular character with Ken. And this will be ending the first game for us as we talk about him mm -hmm. in great detail. Um, oh, yeah, there he has had input-based strategies that nobody else can comprehend. We've seen him adding lag and system delay for certain setups. It's called the Doro Pippa secret. Like, like not to the setup, but rather to his him, own himself? controller. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, maybe replicating a home setup or something. I'm not oh, okay. sure. That's but, uh, he's got his preferences, and he plays according to that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I always like to hear like the uh, stories of different local yeah. players because um, yeah. a lot of the time, because I only joined the Toronto um, scene in like, no November. This November. Yeah, so I'm very wow. I'm very new to this thing. Yeah, Dora's but, been around for maybe years. I think he, yeah. he was coming around since our previous venue. So what I like to hear, I always ask like Russell and Tentacle and stuff like all the stories of different players. Yeah, and you just hear all these different histories and. and I, I hate to call it lore because that's almost like a pretty... He went from Urian to Gil, that's the deep lore, uh -huh. and uh, I mean, he kind of, he's a tall player, player of tall, imposing characters, and then Ken Masters. Then Ken Masters. Yeah. He's imposing in his gameplay, yeah. so right. you know what, we'll let it slide. Yeah. I immediately registered with Rebrand that because he enjoys Luke more, he's just going to be a better Luke player than he was with Peter. Oh, yeah. 100%. Rebrand's admission is to main Akuma when he comes out. Oh, okay. So you've got to be practicing the Shotokan arts. Yeah, for sure. DP input right now. Get your now. DPs, get your DPs in. Although right. with Luke, honestly, I don't think you really need the DP in here. Crouch Fierce is pretty good on both yeah. these characters, mm -hmm. but uh, you still got... It's great to represent a truly fast invincible option. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, we'll see if Akuma gets the back heavy punch again. Two meaty on the throw. Oh, yeah, yeah Akuma back heavy punch. Back heavy. really good close range anti -air. Yeah, and you get the Oki off of it right with the demon flip. Yep. But we'll see. I mean, I'm expecting Akuma to have a lot of messed up stuff. Okay, spins level three. Yeah, this actually is a big drive swing. Rebrand will be about two dry, or one drive bar left. Doro, meanwhile, completely replenished. Mm -hmm. One and a half drive bar. Okay. okay. Playing with the corner now once to make rebrand make the choice, but yeah, that's was that minus three on burnout? It goes from minus six to minus four. Minus four, okay. Yeah. So uh 
Wait, 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 wait. Let me think. Is it a minus three? Yeah, it's, it's minus three okay. because it goes from minus seven to minus three. Yeah. yeah. The burnout data changes things by yeah. four frames. Yeah. Right. So yeah, he ended up. That you basically can't safe. punish. You, yeah. you go for a strike throw a mix. Mm -hmm. The advantage of swinging the drive system in your favor, putting them in burnout, even your defensive options get better. Yeah. Okay, Doro Pippa now. Really I, controlling this corner. Yeah, like Rebaron's staying solid though. Never tech the throw, that's fine. Almost got a chance to get under the corner on the oh, air area. Oh. Punish could have been Berg stand fierce reaches pretty far with Luke, so that would probably work. I think he tried to coach medium kick, but got, got stand. Medium kick. There it is. 2-0 for Doro Pippa. It is first to three, so we're yep. still in this. And that has changed the results of more than one set already today, yes. including yours. Including mine. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that was crazy. They're both red now. Okay. The color switch. He did this last time, too. Against, red uh, makes them go fast. Yeah. Exactly. The blood shed for independence. We have it on all of our flags. Canada, US, everybody's got red on their flags, mm -hmm. right? Now there's red on the rebrand jacket. Exactly. But Ken already red. Supporting the evil Ken. You won't be able to tell if they're bleeding. Exactly. Nice DP. The sands are being blasted. Mm -hmm. okay. Fireball, fireball in game right now. Free brand though, kind of low on driver, and then we're back to equal. Yeah, one parry that goes nowhere gives you such a long meter build delay for your drive coming back. Yes. It's a little bit subtle, and nobody draws attention to it. But that's why JP was so good. Oh yeah. Well, you, you whiff a parry, and you're not building drive back for two seconds. Yes. But now with the changes of his, the way that Spike brings back drive, mm -hmm. it makes JP's at least drive game a lot less scary. Yeah, so, hey, 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 but you still get tagged by that level two and oh, take yeah. two drive impacts in a combo. That's the down exists. four drive bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3.5. The three. difference being that more characters have that, right? Blanca right. and uh, Rashid. I like the delayed throw loop. Oh Walked God. into an imposing range. <laughs> Set point now. What's up? Sorry about that. Yeah, shit, I gotta call some matches. Well, hey, this one's about to roll at Rapid. Don't worry. Oh, okay, big whiff. That is an interesting route. Got some decent damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Seems to be prioritizing damage with the corner carry. Nice air to air. Really just trying to keep the space. Doesn't really want to impose any mix ups. Just keeping the corner for himself. Okay. Mm. The low medium kick show. Both of them probably buffering drive rush off. As you can see, Doro Pippa doesn't mind burning out. Level three is there. Oh, Goes for level two dude. instead. Okay. Probably wants to save level one as the kill option and the reversal. Yeah. Maybe he didn't know a route to do level two with Oxygen, right? Mm. Yeah, level three couldn't have killed anyway. So I like having level one around. Especially since Doro was about to contend with the corner. Level one anti oh works. Oh my god. That hits raw, does a great damage. Pretty much one hit away now. Yep. Rebrand. Trying to get back in somehow. But with no HP and now no drive gauge, gonna be difficult. Yeah, no drive is re really yeah. the biggest problem. Can't block anything else anymore. Run up DP pretty much seals it. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. GG's. Evil. Well, good shit to Doro. Advancing to winners. And I'm gonna check out this bracket. Uh, you can stay here for a moment. All right, we're getting through this bracket. Like Monkey said, we're trying to get the Canadians, including me, out of here in time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fine. You'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's not too far, plus probably not too much people on the roads these uh, that are on this time. Yeah. So. I hit the roads on my way back from CEC. I flew. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Got out around the same... Well, what time is it now? Almost, it's almost Maybe 10. a little bit. Yeah, I got out around 10. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. But we're getting through this bracket. I think we're getting towards, or I think we're already in our top eight, but. Oh yeah, big time. Big time, okay. Uh, what do we got left? Let me take a peek. That was the first of our winner semis matches. Whole bunch of losers to play. Got our other winner semis, which is Quasi and Googie. Mm -hmm. See what happens. Yep. But yeah, it's been nice coming out. It was a good experience, I'd say. It's not over yet, but I'd say, yeah. for the most Glad part. to have you guys coming down. Yeah. It's, it's, it's always fun. Yeah. So we'll see. Some of the Buffalo guys are going to come up for our big Toronto event in April. When's that at? Uh, April 20th. So, yeah, advertise but, yourself, man. <laughs> that's Electric Clash. Hey, we don't run it, so. But, oh, okay. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're good. 
but it is a second challenger event so i'm sure we'll see a lot of people come out internationally stuff like that is it more downtown toronto shit uh it's actually not in downtown toronto oh, it's near God. the airport I... yes yeah so kind of near my ends so that's nice it's a, it's actually at a college so okay ample parking a... perfect for thank god i perfect. hate going to downtown downtown so toronto i hate going there and i'm from there uh... <laughs> Like I'll go, I go up every year for Anime North, and that's again right by the airport in yeah, the uh, yeah. convention center. And that that place is that place is nice. Wow. That place is nice. Love it. I'm glad. Like I did not know you guys were doing stuff at AN every year. Yeah, no. Apparently, Russell's been doing this for like years. And I would years. have never gone to it though because like AN has one hotel where they do like the gaming stuff, and it's like a mile yeah. down the road. I've never been to that building. Yeah. But All now right. that they're moving them. I'll show up. Yeah. All right. Nice win. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I was, I was shaking. Though. <laughs> Dropping combos. I'm like, oh, man, I'm burnt out. It's all good. It's all you got to get. It's 3-0, right? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, solid. We take those. But here we go. So we got Monkey and Roberto. So this is going to be Honda versus Ryu. Yep. Truly David and Goliath in terms of size. but Yeah, I know those uh, butt slams are just something else. Oh, man. We saw a rebrand just hop off the set immediately after that game. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to get into this. Monkey, this is losers, so whoever loses this will go home. In terms of Roberto, that would be across the border. But Monkey's got a fire in him now. After CECs, I've been talking to him a couple of times. He's He does not want to go out right now. Mm -hmm. well, let's see what he's got. Roberto's not going to give him an easy time. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> not again. Roberto is probably the most... Toxic? Not toxic, but... <laughs> <laughs> stubborn, stubborn. Stubborn. Stubborn player when it comes... To, at least when it comes to Honda. So is he just going to keep doing butt slams? Until he's testing He's going to keep doing it. I mean, you saw Rebra and he was perfect parrying. Like, a, you know, a good, good chunk of him, but he yeah. didn't care. He's going to keep only doing at it. The, only at, like, the last round, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, if he's not going to do it, he'll keep testing him. Mm -hmm. Learn or die. But look at this damage right there, Roberto. Yeah, these Honda combos are just nice. They are cool. They gave him cool combos. Yeah, they did. Oh, okay. Uh, that's good. This is a good start for this comeback right now. This round. Oh, just trying to jab out of it. He yeah. gets it. Wow. All right, Roberto takes the first game. That was that was really quick. It was. I mean, Honda, when he gets started. Wait, is this losers? This is losers. Who put Roberto in losers? Rebrand. Wow. Yeah, it, it was such a close set. It went to the final, final game. Mm -hmm. And Rebrand got it super close. And as soon as the oh. game ended, he <laughs> took a stick and walked away. <laughs> he didn't even. He was like, "No, nah, I'm not. I'm not trying to dab you oh, up or anything. Man. I'm out." But I, I get it. I get it. When it when a Honda does this to you, it feels personal. Yeah, it's disrespectful. <laughs> but okay, this time Monkey, he's got a good lead in his first game. But he, Roberto. Oh man, and he has. Oh, that's drive impact ready for boom. Oh, okay. Monkey is holding back. Stick those toes out. Up back. Catches him with the heavy kick in the air. Yeah, I think once Monkey Business has a read a little bit, I think maybe he will be able to control what Roberto's doing. But at the end of the day, he how, can... How, how do you get a read on this? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, <laughs> to be honest. But you got to get your punishes in, get the damage in whenever you do. Yeah. And hopefully that will work. Ooh. But he's, he's going to be stubborn. He's going to keep doing his bus limbs. Oh, nice, nice. and firm. All well, the damage on that. Completely unscaled. Just, Is this how he's moving forward? Yeah, he's baiting wow. without losing charge. Yeah. So it's kind of like a Guile's Bazooka Knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. back has back light. And there it is. Okay, Monkey Business takes the second game. Wow. Monkey Business is a numbers man. If there's anyone out here who cannot get flustered by something like Moose Fan, it's him. Yep. I think he met his perfect match because <laughs> Roberto is not going to stop. No, he's definitely he's definitely <laughs> going to keep doing it no matter what. The Buggy Business knows. He knows the punishes. It's just a matter of reading it in the moment. Yeah. Nice combo. Okay, that's the charge now. One confirm is huge damage. Spends it. Ooh. Oh, punish counter. Oh, another one. Oh, man. Because why not? Oh, try to, try to parry that one. Just out of range. Nice confirm. Nice. Okay, goes for the throw. Has to watch out so he doesn't burn himself out. 
Oh, it drops the... Nice, good burp. Okay, monkey. That was sweet. Okay. He's got the lead now in the set. First lead. Yeah. Oh. Drive reversal, but it wasn't a punish or anything. Just landed normally. Monkey almost out of drive. Trying to fight out of this. Wow. Nice. OD headbutt just to call him out. Wow. Another wow. one, watch. Okay. <laughs> I was going to call another one. Oh, what was that? Again? Oh my god. Headbutt into headbutt. Tried to combo. I think he maybe thought he had bar. Spends level one. All right. Let's see, look at this. Okay, but he gets the counter hit. I mean, he's not losing that much damage, so there's no point of not stopping. Exactly. You know. I mean, look, he's about and to kill burned, yeah. I mean, you're dead. Oh! Okay. Spends it. Doesn't spend the level three. But now here we are, final round, second, third game. Tried to, <laughs> tried to do it again. Tried it again. <laughs> Plus frames, okay. Nice, Ooh. all out, okay. Maybe he's got the read now. Goes for the low. Yeah, you might have to drive impact the, the ish out of him. Mm -hmm. Another speedy setup. Oh, Ooh, tried to break out of this, it. This is not good if he gets a side switch here. Uh, didn't end up going for it. Uh, counter hit. No confirm. He has to watch out because he is burnt Mon out. Monkey business might have those reactions to super him. Yeah, he's. Oh, I that thought. he's trying to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 DP. He has those reactions. All right. Okay, straight back into it. All right, monkey business has the lead in the set. Two one. Roberto on the back foot. Oh, punish counter again. Sumo spirit. Oh, Ooh. cross up. Uh huh. Look at this combo. Ooh. Damage. What is that? Ooh. Nice call out. Oh my god. Okay, a little reprieve. No DP there. Plus frames? Okay, oh, yep. Nah. Doesn't care. Oh my god. Man. Okay, right. this, you you would definitely feel like this is personal if this is <laughs> happening to you. <laughs> I don't blame Re that's why I said I don't blame Rebrand. <laughs> Okay. Okay, fighting back now. Nice. Forward throw. Ah. Up slam poke. Ah. Punish counter. Ah. Uh, another one. Ah. There's another one. Ah. You know, you have to give credit to Roberto though. He's mixing up the head butts. The head butts and the butt slam. Yeah. Quite well. Because he's trying to call them out with a fireball, but this goes for the butt slams after that. And it's hard to be ready for the DP. Gets the so counter I hit. I know it feels random, but there's there's a method to the madness. 100%. Oh, nice end here. Hey, Ooh. monkey. Oh, Ooh. big trade. He has to be careful here. He might eat a level three. Yeah. He has to be careful. There it is. That's going to kill because of the stock. Well played for monkey. Set point for monkey now. Buffalo crowd going wild. No Toronto people here to... <laughs> to help to Roberto out. Guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> catches the dry brush for the first time. Another level one. Yeah, I think you're going to have to make those risks against Roberto. He hasn't really been baiting anything. Yeah. It's not looking too good for Roberto, but I know if he burns out monkey business, he might have a chance. 100%. Oh, okay, there it is. One more. There it is. Oh, but he's counter hit. Be oh, he spent it too early. He spent it too early. Oh! Nice nah, setting up. Nice. Level three is available for Roberto CA on deck. Oh, he caught that floated. Ooh. He might not he, get the chance. Nice. Yay. Early DP for Monkey takes the set three one over Roberto, and he will move on in losers. Roberto unfortunately I mean, will for, drop off. Yeah. For, for a three one, it definitely felt like Roberto, Roberto had the momentum. Yeah. But he just couldn't like keep him contained. Yeah. Once this. once Monkey Business had those level ones in check, the damage was kept scaling. He got another really key confirms when he had the stock. Yeah. So he was doing like 30, 40% on each confirm. And I think that just added up and added up. But well played for Roberto. You know, yeah. he, he didn't make it easy. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but okay, we're getting through this bracket as fast as we can. Uh, am I up? Yeah. I'm up. All right. So right now we have Joe versus Googie.
Uh, Googie, the other Ken player in the scene right now, uh, doing pretty amazing, amazing stuff. And Quasi Mojo, who is a Lily player, uh, used to play Modern, but I think he switched to Classic just for this specific tournament. So it's definitely going to be a good matchup. A lot of knowledge check, and we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Okay. Yeah, hey. I, got, I got a quick question for you. That how, man's a villain. How did you stay composed? Against, After that game one against yeah. Roberto? Man, I was actually on the verge. Like, there was a chance I lost the second game, at which point I would not have stayed composed. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he was really butt slamming me and convincing me I didn't remember how to do the crouching DP. But I literally bought that pad, that new dual sense edge, in yeah. order to be able to do hitbox style crouching DPs. Wow. And once I literally having crouching DP makes butt slam so much easier to deal with. You get double the timing window, and you saw literally game two. I started figuring out, gonna take my time, wait till he's nice and low, and do this crouching DP. I never got the crosscut version, so his cross up butt slams were still an issue for me. But mm -hmm. I kind of just played a little bit more safely, tried some jump back air to airs if he were to pursue me with butt slams. Yeah. Hey, Canada's winner's bracket resident right now. This is top four winner's action, Quasimojo and Googie. They had hard paths to get here. Each had their own 3-2 matches. Uh, uh, yes, you can play them. Yeah. Thanks, guys. That's, uh, guys, is that top five, top six? Top eight? OK, thanks. The late DP from Quasimojo, that's what you love to see. Thanks, Russell. Yeah, Quasimojo was playing Classic. Yeah, um, he originally meant to pick up Classic with Hitbox, mm -hmm. but he left his Hitbox here last week, forgot to take it home, and then played on Pad when he managed to play this week. Mm -hmm. So he's Pad Classic now, kind of by happy accident. <laughs> and it's working out. Yeah. Um, he's been enjoying having his, well, he, you know, Lily low medium kick is nothing to write home about. Yeah. Her sand medium kick not so great either, but he likes having all of the normals the character is meant to have. As well as uh, some slightly more damaging routes for yeah. looping with. I mean, having a limited toolkit definitely... It's the worst part about modern by far. Yeah, but at least, you know, you have easy combos and you can just use that, rinse and repeat, and you should be yeah. getting a little bit of success. There's going to be a lot of Ken action possibly in winners with you and Googie possibly facing off. Yeah. That is if you play Ken against him. Yeah, that is, because yeah. we, we can't discount Quasimojo. No, certainly not while he has a lead like this. Yeah. Um, but I enjoy, welcome. I welcome all these prospects. <laughs> she looks so silly when she spins in <laughs> slow motion there. They, that animation doesn't slow down as well. Oh, wow. It's JP from Boogie. Ooh. Yeah, he said, don't start writing fanfics about the mirror yet. I still got this JP. Johan Petrovic, Jordan Ooh. Peterson, speaking of Canadians. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Anyway, I like uh, this matchup on paper for Lily. Uh, Quasi likes to use a lot of the OD Spire to get through projectiles, mm -hmm. use invincibility. I can imagine he'll be aggressive with fear as well. What up? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Now, in theory, you can drive her so Lily every time. In but theory. She's going to build wind easier than you spend drive, I think. A lot of damage on this. Important to get the portals up for Oki. Ooh, uh, dropped the combo. Yeah, that would have led into a portal confirm as well. Lots of returns off the Ooh. lights. Not in range of that light DP. What are you supposed to do? Heavy DP? I don't know. Trying to play around the portal in burnout is so difficult. Ooh. Wow, reaches, but has no win. Not going to kill with that, but in a horrible situation relative to the chip. Ooh. It might have been dive kick might have been the play there for a punish. I think dive kick kill. Not sure, though. Nothing was guaranteed. Great drive rush link. Quasi coming back to green drive now. Probably not going to spend anything. As Googie sets up the prison. Full screen prison for Windless Joe. No buffer on his crouch fierce. Maybe he didn't want to spend drive rush. Ooh. Got it this time, though, with those three bars. I love the resource management. Avoiding burnout like the plague. Right. Once again, he doesn't drive rush, and he will hear it to kill wow. if he needs. He did not need to use anything this round. Yeah. And go into the final round with all three bars. Yeah. Googie has the infamous JP level two, though. And with Quasi this dry on drive already, this level two could make a big difference. Drive's coming back now. Two win for Quasi. 
and that's a punish on the late drive reversal. Quasi spends all the drive getting a frame trap sequence together, but doesn't convert fully on anything. Could be... needs to find a level 3 to kill. That traded. Doogie needs a few more hits before he can get there. Oh, ooh, hop overhead. Modern Lily doesn't have that normal, and if she if he didn't use it, this could be over for game one. Instead, Googie's getting the drive back with perfect drive management. Quasi's locked in burnout for a little bit longer. Honestly, it's a pretty rough spot. He needs to try and survive long enough to get drive back. So dangerous, he got the drive, though. And oh! he got whiff punished by drive impact. Googie ties up the game. Score 1-1 on the switch to JP, a very close no, one. If he was a modern, that would have been super. Yeah. <sighs> Man. Yeah, he, he's, he's been around the world more than once in every way with every control style. He sees the benefits and the drawbacks. He feels them. But you know, you can react with full buffered inputs. You just gotta be buffering the whole time. Go. Nice. Yeah, very late Boogie was trying to jump out. Nice. Still has no win though, so no combo. That was a command grab, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was too early, but it would have punished counter. Pretty difficult situation and quasi burns out as a result Ooh. of the OD amnesia. Still going in. Doesn't matter whether it's burnt out or not, it's still gonna press button. Yeah, nice. Yeah. The T Hawk crouch medium punch. Pulls out the round for Quasi, taking the lead in the set. Once more. Managed Excuse. to get two win stocks, use one of them for EX. Yeah, OD Spire. Googie challenge there. I think Quasi was trying to walk up and go for throw, perhaps. Now, how does Quasi get win from full screen while this portal is wreaking its rhythmic havoc? Nice. Building tons of meter on these combos. Nice. Nice, ooh. nice, nice, ooh. You, yeah, Those fantastic. Those JP combos are just beautiful to watch. Googie's so meta, bro. <laughs> JP and Ken, that's awesome. He's got the, like, in-game, in-the-main-menu story screen. You know how it shows Ken versus JP in the yeah. story screen? Yeah. Nice ooh. reaction from Quasi. And they're both, he can burn out Googie here if he spends his supers, perhaps level two. Mm, didn't do it. Still doesn't do it. He yeah, can burn he, him out. Burn he, him out! He's super greedy with that bar, man. What's yeah. going on? Burn him out, spend some something. Spend some cash. Right? Well, maybe nothing will get spent after all. Oh, Cretin! You cannot overhead him to finish. And Gooey doesn't burn out. He's they're gonna each gonna have three dry bar basically. Quasi's gonna have a little less. It's a ton of drive damage on CA. Oh my god, EX dive kick maybe? It's actually oh, getting bad. Man. There were so many chances to kill with the right route. This is crazy. He's burnt out now. Oh my god, with the last ditch effort wow. on the last bit of drive he spent. Uh, I've got a throw off of it. Just that one throw he needed. Quasi goes up 2-1 by the skin of his teeth. Crazy. I like what he's doing because he's not doing the command grab yet. So he's not giving him the full. Yeah, he's literally never gone for command yeah. grab. You're right. None have missed and none of it. It's been regular throws and strikes. Now, Quasi still has a long way to go in this round. And the burnout is going to limit his offense greatly. I guess he spent a gauge there. I mean, a, a win stock. Doesn't look like it. I mean, he's, he's yeah. still in control. Yeah. He has JP in the corner and ooh. Is there a side switch here or just good okay? Mid, uh, go full screen. That's fine. Air reset, Quasi was plus off of it, challenged with Crouch Medium, but swung into a drive reversal, and Googie used that at the perfect time once again, not burning out. Walking back. The late, super delayed drive reversal works on Quasi. Will Googie take that gray life away? No, it's coming back. All the way back now. Avoid the chip. Whiff punish, but not a very valuable one from Googie. Wow. wow! Hitting the anti-air with jump in level two. It's those modern reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he basically didn't need it, it still, it felt guaranteed to him. And spending level two is nothing to win round one. Mm -hmm. Right on time is Quasi with the reaction. Just a few combos away from sending Goofy to losers. Spending no nothing. Goofy's gonna arrive at level three. That's the one last ditch hope here. 
Quasi's out of drive. Yeah. Scramble situation. Doogie could become the victor. Doogie has him in the corner. Let's get a combo. Yeah. At least a level two combo would be sweet right here. Yeah. Oh ah. my god, he didn't set anything up for himself. That should do it, right? Oh, he spent level one instead of two. Yeah. I don't think level level two would have killed. It probably would have. Yeah, it probably would have. Minimal scaling in that kind of route. They both agree to spend some drive. Oh, accidentally got sweep instead of crouch heavy. I think he, his finger slipped or something. But Quasi, Quasi guess it's to winner's choice. finals as a result of that. Looking strong as hell. Yeah, incredible. Went through actually Russell and Googie, the double Canadian loser center. Let's see where that leaves us in the bracket as the commentators stand up. Don't worry, we'll delete this downtime in the VOD. Whew. Man, we've had ourselves some, some Street Fighter today. Wow. So we have Bane or Big Sexy <laughs> facing. See, you got to stick to that one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> facing Russell off stream, and and the winner of that is going to face Rebrand? On stream. On stream. Mm -hmm. And then the winner of that is facing you? I actually don't know, because that was a, to advance to fight you in winner's finals. OK. So you should be on the other side. The other side. Whoever, the whoever the other. Yeah, whenever that finishes, they're going to see you as the final boss, pretty much. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So we're almost getting to the end of this. You know, yeah, I have not faced a good Lulu player like that before. So, so what happened there? Obviously, we both played Ken. Any tips for me? <laughs> uh, I mean, you seem really good neutral-wise. Like, honestly, I, I can tell you probably play other games, other 2D games. Oh, yeah, I play KOF. Let's, let's oh, play well, it. there you go. There you go. <laughs> so on Bane and Russell's batch is going down the, to the wire, so we'll see what happens there. But, yeah, I mean, in terms of... Um, what you do, you just gotta optimize your stuff, man. Because I think you're solid. Otherwise, mm -hmm. like I have, uh, other than maybe like throw loop pressure. Throw loop pressure. Yeah. So maybe don't be too scared to take DPS. Because at the end of the day, like you get the pressure, you're good. Right, right now, with Russell versus uh, Bane, it's two two, uh, tied up. It's round one. Russell has a life lead by about fifty percent with Bane in the corner playing Ed. By the way, magnificent oh. modern guile on Russell. Containing Bane in the corner. He just landed a drive impact. Mutilus combo. Bane in the corner. Takes a punish counter throw. He's got a pixel left in round one. Fighting with it. Just one bar of drive against Russell's three. How is Bane going to get out of this corner? He got anti air trying to jump out. It is uh, now set point Russell. I'm trying to picture it. We got, the, yeah. radio, we got the, the radio show. show. The radio show. Yeah, and I'm trying to picture radio it in style. my head. Russell gets the first hit as an air to air, but no combo in the situation after. Spends a lot of drive on the light extension. Bane moving towards the right corner. He still has, he's about to arrive at level two. OD and DP's out. That is uh, the Guzman special transferred into Bane. Bane jumps in, still trying to get out of the right corner. Took a flash kick. <laughs> Russell's classic. Bane a huge jump in, forward throw off the jump in. Call that the old reset. Full bar for Russell. Can he got a light bazooka knee hit. Spent some drive, but didn't burn out. He's not going to get to kill Bane off this uh, level three he's landing, but Bane's going to have about a pixel. A throw could kill him, not looking but Bane will have Bane. level three on the next combo he hits, and he's got the drive, but he took a meaty boom, Okay. and that's the set. Oh, yeah, Russell takes it over Bane 3-2, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. And he's coming over to the stream right now. Yeah, we're getting Russell for the stream. Russell versus Rebrand? That was actually a great set, guys. What can I say? You know, that was a good one. In terms of Tekken, Russell, so, uh, Russell we're getting and Russell over are the like stream now. two of the top, top players. But, and they're, they're still here in Street yeah, Fighter. They're still, <laughs> we're still playing. Oh, man. <laughs> we're still uh, gaming. And Rebrand, you know, he went to finals. <laughs> yeah, because I see he was facing... Uh, I'm going to think this is second grand finals. Right? Joe, right? Joey, Joey, yeah. Yeah, Joey's here. Yeah, Rebrand, he, he ended up going second in Tekken, so... Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, been, he's going on a gauntlet run right now, so... I mean, I think... Uh, there he, he is. He has a boost because the old lady's here, so he can't can't lose, can't go out like oh, that yeah. with the old lady watching. No. So you have to bring out all the guns. You gotta at least go top three. Yeah. Make at it least. the podium. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So 
I mean, he's looking strong right now. He plays the Luke. But you know, you did send him down there, so you're you're hurting his, okay. your hurting relationship, his relationship possibly. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but no, I heard he was playing DJ and he swapped to Luke. Yeah. So I mean, DJ was. I think he's still considered top tier, right? Oh yeah. I mean, Luke is probably. Luke is pretty. Good but the thing too. is, Luke went from two to one. Ooh. So, I mean, he's chilling for the next probably year because it's. Lord I mean, knows. It's his game. Yeah. yeah. Lord knows they patch the game every year. So <laughs> he's he's good. But no, it's always cool to see because obviously you said you're a KOF player, rebrand, mostly a second player. But like you know, Monkey was talking about, pretty much everyone plays everything. Mm -hmm. Like everyone's got some kind of game from uh, game to game. So it's cool to see rebrand, even Russell play <laughs> at this much, uh, this well into late late into Street Fighter bracket. So, but uh, here we go. I think they might have to pause this. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh, swap in the jungle. Yeah, I think they connected to the, the wrong account. Oh. Uh, yeah, you know what's interesting is that Rebrand plays this game on stick, but he plays Tekken on pad. Yeah, I, similar to me, I play Tekken sometimes. I'm not on their level. Okay. I just play for fun, but I can only play Tekken on pad. Really? It's weird on the stick. It is definitely, you have to get used to it. Yeah. There's a lot of like mechanical things involved. Yeah, you re really always move it. It's so. easier to do on pad. There's no DP motions and anything like yeah, that. Yeah, true. So there's really no need for a stick. Mm -hmm. uh, KOF, you play on stick though. KOF, I play both. Both? Okay. Yeah. Damn. Okay, just drop the DI conversion. That's all good. High wall splat. High wall splat. It's like Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> That was a regular flash kick. Puts himself into the corner though, Rebred. Taking advantage of this. See, one thing I'm noticing mm -hmm. at the high level, like people stop using those scrub tactics. And what I call scrub, scrub tactics, you have to do it on burnout. Just DI. Yeah, yeah I mean, honestly, just, it's it's kind of like... Just do it. It's kind of like, yeah, exactly. You, you kind of just, sometimes you just got to do it. Just do but it. I will say that this is modern. And that's going to happen to you when oh, you're yeah, modern. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's one button. You don't gotta buffer anything. Just press the button, and you're good. You have to try. You still have to try it out. You do. You, you still do. You have to try it out. You, you can't just be afraid of it and not. Hundred percent. Capitalize that opportunity. Because you're you're mind. basically giving up an entire part of the game. Yeah. But sometimes you just gotta test their patience and test their reactions. And they might not be willing to spend that bar at that moment. That's true. And just take whatever combo you're giving. Mm -hmm. So. It's definitely a mental game. You don't want to. You don't want to be too static in your in your game plan. So no, I agree with that for sure. But here we go. So first, gets to jump in. Just a little, a little piece of bar left, but not gonna use it. Rebrand fighting back with his own OD fireball. Oh my god! Oh, another big jump in. This should be it. No, he drops the combo. Okay, just gonna go back to neutral here. Just gonna. Try to fight Russell. He doesn't care. Even if he has the lead, he's gonna go in. Um, that's not gonna work. Back to neutral. Back to neutral. Okay, fireball pressure. Rebrand staying solid though. Level one. That's gonna work. All right, Russell takes the first game. Yeah, with those modern reactions. Honestly, in that situation, you can't even throw a fireball. If he, if Russell's thinking about it, ooh, you get punished by that level one. Okay. Dropping the confirm, but I was doing that a lot today. <laughs> okay, just go for the sweep side switch. That is interesting. But it's a big punish on the other side. No finish on the combo. Mm. Jump in from Russell. Mm. He got those combos. Gee, he does. He's playing modern, but don't be fooled. He's got combos. <laughs> <laughs> He's got combos. All right, back to neutral here. About 50% on it both sides. Rebound getting pushed to the corner. Nice, nice end here. Oh, doesn't hit it. That should be it. No. Level one. No. Push for the pressure. Oh my god. Big whiff there. But... Ooh. Not looking good for rebrand. Oh. He's just holding that barrier. <laughs> I mean, what else is he supposed to do? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> definitely a do or die situation. Oh, man. Good jump in. A lot of damage. Classic. Blue perfect, combo. perfect knuckles. Oh, another Ooh. one. Russell. Back in the, and he's getting burnt out. Okay. Oh, nice perfect parry. Yeah. Right. Nice. Get back in there. Yeah. 
Nice little Get check back. there. Wow. So what are we doing here? They're really just playing the corner game at this point. Oh, big. Nice. Heavy punch, but no confirm. Ooh, that, that could have been damaging. Nice check. Mm. Oh, it's going to hit. Oh, Ooh. but not a regular. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he tried to. We punished that. Oh, he got him with the back. Russell up two. This is what Russell makes you play like this, though. I think he's going back to DJ. I think he's switching colors. Ah, colors? He's, he's done this every time. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but all right, Russell up two. One more to go. You out, bro? It was nice to see you, bro. Nice to see you, man. Take care, bro. All right. We got Big Sexy going home. Mm -hmm. He had a good effort. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he goes out with a smile though, so that's good. It's always nice to see. Nice parry on the DI. Oh, dude, the timing that Russell has is crazy. Yeah, it's not looking good for Rebrand because he's been in a corner 90% of the whole <laughs> That's set. true. Okay, he doesn't actually do a level one there, but you can. But Russell now set point. This is the furthest Rebrand has to fight from now. Two oh. games down, one round down. So here we go. At this point, Russell just non-stop aggression with a Guile. Modern Guile. Modern Guile. Magnificent Guile. Nice, nice. cross-up. Okay, gets a full combo. Drops the heavy knuckle. It's a throw. Dash up, back throw. He does not care. Oh, Ooh. nice whiff punish. Is he going to build it? Uh, yes, he is. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Spending it. He's confident. He wants this round. He wants to end it right here. Okay. Rebrand is mashing to make sure he's not taking as much damage. <laughs> oh. Uh, dash up throw. Okay, one more mix up. Ah, the regular. Boom. It takes it. Russell takes it 3 0. Knocks Rebrand out of the tournament. Man. Okay. All right, Russell. Hugging it out with not even his opponent. <laughs> yeah, it's, that was a hard match. It was a hard you know, match. He, he, he was in a corner the whole time. Couldn't really get his game going. Couldn't really get a flow going. Yeah. But he had a good run today. Yeah, he yeah. did. Second and second. This is fifth, I think. So we'll take that. We take that. Not especially for a second character and dropping your main. Like, can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at that at all. He did well. Oh, yeah. Question for you. Uh, you yeah. You and me. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Good luck. Got Googie versus Monkey Business. Ken versus Ryu. Oh, the classic. Is this the fight, Russ? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The classic fighting for the streets. Coming in? Yeah. Oh, man. So I just got back from dinner. How are we doing versus the Canadian Scourge? Uh, we got Monkey Business took out Roberto. So now he's back on deck trying to take out another good Canadian Doogie. player. Doogie. Doogie. Yeah. So. I took that guy out in Tekken. So let's see if Matt <laughs> can take him out in Street Fighter. And if he can take him out, if he can take out Googie, he can go on and take out Russell. Uh, is Russell in winner's finals? Loser's semi. Loser's semi, okay. Yeah. Who's in winner's finals? Quasimojo and the man sitting right next to you. Oh, Doral yeah. Piper. Yeah. Okay. What character are you playing today? I'm, play you... I'm playing Ken. Oh, okay. you know, still monitoring the matchups to see which pocket character I could bring out. You and your 50 pocket characters. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. All right, Googie. I have not seen him play, but we know what Monkey Bates just brings to the table. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> I mean, we see it. I mean, Ken v. Ryu, we've seen this matchup plenty of times. Ryu has plenty of counterplay, but it feels like Ryu is on the defense a, a lot more in these matches than uh, he could be aggressive versus Ken's tool hit. I mean, he got some buff this season or recently. So oh, it should nice, be nice with punish here. Fairly okay with him. All right, one nice. guess for the win. What is, he goes into burnout. I thought he was going to go for a tick throw setup there, but. 
Nice. All right. Yeah. Playing it safe, not taking any unnecessary risks, just to close this round out. Yeah. Nice. Googie had a big, big uphill climb on that one to get uh, get over. <clears throat> All right. So Googie a little less aggressive on the Ken than I've uh, typically seen on Ken players recently. <laughs> but here we go. All right. We got some offense started. There it is. Yeah, I think he was probably feeling it out for the yeah. first round. Yeah. And then now we all like, do okay. that. Time to time. We'll just get bodied the first round and be like, all right, here's some offense. All right. Now, uh, Monkey Business got that, that uphill climb. Although Ryu is really good at just standing there and letting you try and do something. So. Yeah. His fireball game is super nice. Oh, Ooh. nice. Nice read there. Burns himself out, which is not too great. So let's see. Oh, oh. Monkey business can capitalize. He's pressing. He's pressing. Can't. Nice. No invincible reversal. This, this won't kill, though, right? It can. It can kill. Oh, nah. Nah, fireball into what? Oh, nice jump. All right, we still got plenty of time on the clock. Nobody really needs to uh, take an unnecessary risk. You just got to bait a whiff. Ken's got meter back, so he's probably going to drive rush soon. Oh! oh! Ballsy. Ballsy. Man. Damn. Whoa. Just got done saying take no unnecessary risks. <laughs> <laughs> he takes the king of unnecessary risks. He's like, I can feel it. He's going to press the button. Nice. All right, good pressure right now. Ken's going to have to bust out an EXDP soon to get out of this. Yeah. He has to, because yeah, he's yeah. not going to let him out. Yeah. Where is it? It's coming. No. Wow. <laughs> he went, He didn't want to EXTP, and you just fed off of it. Yeah. You just fed off of it. So Monkey Business takes the first round, or the first first game, I should say. I don't know, Googie, but I feel like uh, the, the training wheel is about to come off here. I think he's about to go full, full tilt. All right, Monkey Business putting him back in the corner. Mm -hmm. What's the mix? Ooh. Oh, we got some. There, there it is. The DP. There. He had to let him rip eventually. Back in, the corner. You, in this game, especially, you cannot just respect somebody in neutral like that. <clears throat> All right, gets out of the corner, but at the cost of his own life. Wow. Uh, are, are we doing three out of five for the top eight, or is it two out of three right now? Three out of five. Okay. We still got some Street Fighter ahead of us. Oh, what's the punish? Mm. Optimal. Oh, is that optimal? I don't know. You spent almost <laughs> your whole drive bar for that little damage. But he's definitely in control, yeah. so that's all that matters here. Yeah, I think he's not letting Googie get in. Yeah. And just making sure to keep him in the corner, but now that I'm saying that, Googie's taking the advance. Yeah. And I haven't been keeping up. Did they nerf Dragon Lash severely? Because I have not just seen it thrown out. I don't think it's sometime. They didn't nerf it, but they definitely didn't, didn't give him as much push frames. Okay. So he can't just throw. He loot. can't just do yeah. it. Yeah, all right. Mm. Oh, nice jump out, but it doesn't really capitalize off of it. Burn, <coughs> burn, burn him out. All right. Nice. All right, and control, what's the Oki? Oh, is this dead? Yeah, that's dead. He's not all dropping right. these combos. Yeah, monkey business. Uh, He's looking pretty strong. Firmly Ooh. in control and not dropping shit. Yeah. I'm not used to seeing this version of Monkey Business. He's trying to get all the Canadian players out of here. <laughs> Send them home early, man. Yeah. He talked about it after CEC, how he wanted to kind of drop his other games and just focus down on Street Fighter. And he's... I mean, we really, uh, unfortunately right now, just there's a lull in our in the Buffalo scene itself, and we really need somebody to stand up and like reinvigorate the scene. So hopefully Monkey Business is the one to do it. <laughs> All right, nice little get out of the corner string there for uh, Doogie. Nice. But monkey business, I feel like in every round so far has just been in control. Yeah, he's confident. His fireball game is great, and he has him in the corner exactly where he wants him. And he's got Googie scared to DP, which a Ken that's scared to DP is a is a dead Ken. Yeah, I mean he's empty jumping in the oh. corner. Losing the fireball game, losing the neutral game, it's not looking good right now. Yeah, uh, this is a set point right now for monkey business. So let's see what he's got. 
and see if he's going to sauce him up. Goes into burnout really, really early. So it's, he's going to have it back before he's dead. He's still confident because he's using yeah. a lot of plus frame traps. He could have jabbed DP there even. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Man. That should be death. Yeah. Yeah, level three right here if he doesn't drop, which he hasn't been. Wow. The execution now. Damage. The execution. Yeah, that's All right. <laughs> Monkey no business clue, with <laughs> the Canadian Slayer today. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I got one more. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we already forgot about you, so sorry. You got, you got the final boss. Yeah, you still in. The f yeah, Nobody can say final boss with an M in front of their character's name. All right, when is finals? Dora, we're hey, taking you off. Switched, Brian. All right. Brian, do you want me to stay on with Googie or do you want me to go on? You should go on. Yeah, I should. I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> you were a good replacement. Thank you for tolerating my Street Fighter ignorance, everybody, for this hey, one whole minute. <laughs> you did great for Ryu Ken. That kid, that matchup has been the same for so long. You got it down. <laughs> All right. Tradition is you get up from playing your set and immediately have to commentate with the person you were just playing with. <laughs> <laughs> that was more often than you think, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a big shortage yeah. of commentators. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, winner's final. Yeah. So this okay. is going to be the Lily player, Joe? Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Quasi Mojo. Who, by the way, Mojo. Um, he, <laughs> to get here, his first winner's side top three birth at a local, he meant to be playing Hitbox this week. Accidentally forgot it last week. Maybe I mentioned this. Forgot the hitbox here. Had to play pad all week as a result of that. And now shows up as a pad Lily player today on Damn. Classic. Yo, stick to uh, pad, bro. Yeah. Stick to pad. <laughs> Sticking to the stick pad. Stick to the pad, bro. <laughs> yeah, but his, his hitbox has all the stickers on it. And oh, stuff. I mean, whatever. He's yeah. a good player. I don't think the input device matters. Yeah, for so, sure. But this is going to be a sick game. Lily, this is probably Lily Ken, right? Yeah. I sure. was having so much trouble just dealing with Lily. I think... Um, there's a rare chance that if Doro goes down, he may switch to Guile. Oh, okay, okay. Boom is a gr lot greater of an asset to have than Ken Hadoka. I agree, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that just in general, it's, I don't know much about Lily, so I didn't really know how to deal with a lot of her, all of her buttons. Mm -hmm. um, and even just her stagger pressure, but. It's, 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 I want to crouch light punch, right? She's just batting at your ankles exactly. and you can't get her off of you. Yeah. And you feel foolish because you keep on taking more and more low light confirms, but you just don't want to get command grabbed or hit exactly. anything more major. And another, and another thing about that is that she also has a really weird drive rush yeah. like off of a button where it seems like she's delaying something. Right. Which is I, why I always press. I actually find it hard to deal with hers and Manon because yeah. they're so delayed and slow. So I always pressed against it thinking, okay, he's delaying it for like a command grab or like a throw. And then I kept getting counter hit. Yeah. Because it was just the normal timing. It happened your leg. Exactly. Right. But I'm interested to see how... Um, I forgot his name. <laughs> um, Quasi Mojo's the Lily and Doro Pippa's the Ken. Doro, yeah. How yeah. He's going to deal with the Lily. Doro Pippa. Right. right. Um, he's going to deal with the... With the Lily, so let's see. Yeah, it's kind of like a, you played this exact matchup. Was it on stream you played it too? I did, yeah. So you'll have some footage to compare with. 100%. Go. That Quasi's on a great run. Oh, nice. Doro has uh, had top three runs before, but normally he kind of is like an underdog and makes losers runs. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I mean, I've, I really like the way that Doro controls the space. And that's really important against Lily. Mm -hmm. Um Nice combo. He's, yeah, he's got a drive lead too, and I like that he didn't spend too much. He's trying to milk the burnout and not drive it back too early. Nice shimmy. And now he can basically win the round a number of different ways. Yeah. Just keep her in there. Okay. Nice confirm. Quasi still has a lot of burnout to deal with. I don't know if he's going to make it. Yeah. Being in burnout against Jinrai is Classic. a nightmare. Classic situation. Yeah. At this point, right? What are we, almost a year in? Basically, I can call I it think classic. it's iconic. Yeah, I can getting call it. loofed by Jinrai in a low medium pick is classic and iconic. <laughs> exactly. Classic controls. Anyway, two wind socks on that long taunt from Quasi. Nice. Goes through a Hadouken with no problem. He probably had a full second to do that. Oh, another one. That's two in the set already. Yeah, more so than like any of them, honestly. Yeah, he didn't do it <laughs> once to me. <laughs> didn't need to. So he knows we've all been watching, so the watching itself is conditioning us. Oh, yeah. There's that Ken jump in, the deep jump heavy punch. Oh, that overhead. Oh, no, Mr. Confirm, but gets the punish on the DI. Yeah, Doro definitely wanted level three. I saw him buffering. He wanted to burn out Quasi. He, he's a big drive manager. Mm. Still looking for it. 
both in drive right now. Back to Street Fighter V. Oh, yeah. Oh, big plus frames on the heavy. That works. That's going to work. Nice. Not quite. Oh! oh! That's level two, right? Raw yeah. level two, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It, it is level two. We saw that camera angle change. There's a level two? Yeah, there's a level two. <laughs> with wind, that does even more. I knew it would have killed with wind, but I was impressed that it killed with no wind. Yeah, punish counter, right? Must have been. Yes, it must have been because the Ken is whiffing during Dragon Lash. Yeah, yeah. Invincibly. But all right. Quasi looking good, but is not worse for it in terms of the bar. Certainly not. Uh, has some time to recover. Whoa, that had to be an accident. Yeah. Oh, gets put on the other side now. How do you recover from an accident like that? I mean, Doro's drive is coming back. It's hard to contest drive impact here. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna, oh, that's, that's gonna keep him in burnout too. Yep. Oh, nice combo. Yeah, he burned himself out there. Oh, he, big whiff. That means he can't loop drive impacts. Nope. Why, Why is he trying back? to fight out? Yeah, he's back. Nice air there. And he knew he couldn't get the combo off of it, but the knockdown's just fine. Yeah. Why is he not looking to DI? Just gonna keep it safe. Oh, level three build here. That's gonna kill. Absolutely. I can't believe that went through Ken's standing medium kick. Um, long, big hurtbox on startup, I think, is what yeah. Ken fell victim to. I think maybe a Ken crouch medium punch wouldn't have gotten counter hit the yeah. same way. That looked like a Tekken interaction <laughs> yeah. going under the high. Right, right, right. That's I mean, that is actually, no, actually, it might actually be that because I know for sure that that medium kick does, does, doesn't, does has like a really high hitbox. Yeah, yeah, I think it's possible that it got low profile. Yeah. Okay, but immediately door people gets the first combo puts him in the corner yeah half hp already nice tech super drive efficient the toyota camry of street fighter 6 characters <laughs> and master 100 percent. just you just need that run uh tatsu and you're there yep then you've got all the tools you need to use afterwards mm -hmm. nice Full should, that should be a kill yeah i think so um didn't need it but why not oh okay guess he really should have spent that drive yeah i should have um, I'm sure, though, he'll win the round, yeah. Yeah, you even built some of that level 1 meter back by playing out the round a little bit more after. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. We'll take that. Nice. Saw okay. that. Drive reversal. Back to neutral. Heavy fireball got a hit. The Ken zoning game, can you believe it? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> ah, nice from Quasi. Yeah, spend all the drive in one fell swoop. However, it was necessary the damage, to keep though. at bay. Great. Yeah, what, some of the best... DI midstream combos in the game. Okay. She has good damage in general. That's really. airborne though, so yeah. the combo is a lot worse. Just gonna get the heavy gin right. I'll just try to loop these DIs, put them in the corner. Yeah. Oh, overhead. Too Another difficult. one. So difficult. Um, he, don't think he can kill. No, but it'll do a lot. Yeah. Quasi had to have been buffering level three. He could have won off of it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh. Two oh. protect. It was a late. He didn't actually come down with a button. Doro didn't. Nice that bottom. Was. That's 1-1. One, one. So many tick setups there, it's hard to figure out when the throw is coming. Yeah, he successfully teched the neutral jump, play kick into yeah. tick throw, but not the second tick throw off play punch. I've so. noticed that Doro does the neutral jump when he's on offense, but he doesn't actually press down with the button. Just as a raw, empty yeah. neutral jump. It's like, if you're really close, I think you might as well come down with the button. But if you're further away neutral jumping, I don't always like to, just in case they're anti-air. Right. It's going to reach you only if you press their button. Right, right. But the two situations I saw there where you could have been in a fat punish counter yeah. jump in. Especially since it's Ken, it's yeah. jump heavy punch. Exactly. It yeah. is very, very good for the situation. Oh, yeah. oh, I saw that. He could have gotten it. Yeah. He, he hit it on me in tournament on the other setup. Nice. We'll oh, see. touch a I reset. I love the awareness from Bozzy and oh. awareness again. And he burned Dora Pippa out for it. Does he have a side sweep? Side sweep? No, not really. Just a good Oki here. Good punishment for Glee. Can you parry? Didn't oh. get to jump over. That reversal reach is nice and high. Yeah. I have to jump over. It was a good idea. Hey, you did that to me. I Yeah, I really wanted to get around ODDP, <laughs> yeah. Here we okay. go. Not going to kill. But chip is a problem. Oh, the nice. sweep. Nice call up. That, no way that was on purpose, right? I, I feel so? like, I don't know. He was trying to do a heavy special. Because sweep's not cancelable, right? That's true. He I thought maybe chip out. he was looking for like a forward movement. That is possible too. I'll, maybe I'll ask <laughs> Nice combo. I'll ask him, hey, Joe, have you ever meant to sweep before? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay. This he's is got, not working. Yeah. yeah, he spent his drive rush, but still had enough to DI afterwards. Quasi has reversed every DI that he could for like at least the last five minutes. Yeah. Quasi though is gonna burn out himself if Doro can make him block. Yeah, maybe just another heavy kick. A 
little bit more blocking. Oh, tried to. Traded. If Actually, Doro very good. If Doro canceled the Fierce into Jinrai, yeah. Quasi would burn out. Yeah, but now he's not even close. Yeah. But he's low on HP. That's another problem. We're looking, yeah. at, we're looking at the wrong bar. Yeah, right? <laughs> Health is now more relevant. Okay, Quasi, CA range. Any hit should kill. Ooh. Oh, I got him trying to stock up. Nice. Dora will take that round. All I right. Mean, Quasi probably feels a little bit greedy because he's stocking up when he's already got CA to kill yeah, off hit. Yeah, true. All right, we're all even Stevens. Okay, I guess Crush Medium Kick. Just a, just a light gin, right? It's a huge swing oh. point for the set. And for Quasi, that's the right way to start off. Dora's going to be dry on drive in orange bar now. What a good call out. Yeah. Nice, go through the fireball. Another one. Pretty much a safe wind dance. Oh, nice. Dora's in a rough spot. Oh, He's yeah, going it's going over. Whip. Oh, oh, what? The tip of the fist catches I, Lily. ODDP doesn't do that. No, it definitely not. Yeah. It kind of looked like it went backwards. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, he could have killed. He's going to do so much damage here. Could he have? He could have killed. With ODDP. Oh, and it's the overhead oh nice. Throw. Cheeky. No. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Russell really wants to go home. <laughs> yeah, he seems like he's worried. I mean, it is, uh, it is 10.30. Oh, hopefully we can get some nice 3-0s for him. Maybe I'll do him in real quick. <laughs> Maybe you should. Yeah. For my sake. Right, right, right. <laughs> Keep everybody safe. Okay. Fire. Joe's trying to make it a fast two. Mm -hmm. Looking strong, though, but if he wins, we do prolong it. <laughs> uh, okay, this side, the yeah, DI literally. works. Does he have the... No, he could have done a run uh, Jin right there. Run Jinrai. Run Dragon Lash. Now I'm to getting tired. Sides. Yeah, no, right. I'm getting I'm switched. Dragon Lash and Jinrai are always the ones that people get the names. Yeah, they, they are new. Yeah, right. So exactly. we'll, take, we'll take that. But alright, Quasi give. Got up in the corner. Jumps the fireball. Heavy kick. That could have been punished, I think. Yeah, he, maybe but, crouch light punch. Yeah. Yeah. Got him. Doro must have been throw teching after the jump in. They're uh, both tick throwing each other, you remember. So yeah. little But alright. Working in those heavy normal. Whoa! Oh. Input error all the way to the corner. Oh, no. Oh, oh set up the mistake. Yeah, <laughs> it works. We call, uh, in Toronto, we call that a Toronto setup. Happy little reset. <laughs> you know. Okay, get to the long town. Happy Spring. little North American reset. Exactly. <laughs> Northeast. Yeah. Atlantic. <laughs> uh, Lake Ontario. Canada, US, Erie, Ontario region. Yeah, Erie, Ontario. <laughs> Okay, no DP there from Quasi, but gets the counter hit. Push into the corner. Another confirm, but no. He needed wind or OD to make that combo, but he had neither. Level three on deck. Push level two. He can still kill without level one now. He doesn't even need drive really, as long as it's a <gasps> medium confirm. But he cornered himself and Quasi and kills off it. of it, ties it. Up wow. two to two. And she's gonna make a mistake, so it does more damage. Yeah. It does more damage when she messes up. <laughs> I wish that was me. Yeah. I wish that happened for me. I miss it and put the DP, I get uh, even better DP. Yeah. And it has an OTG butt slam. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. So maybe you ever see the Guile? Maybe he's just taking his time a little bit? I, I think it's I think it's a time-taking moment, too. It's Guile. Oh, yeah, as okay. Predicted. All right. I'm glad I gave you that lore. Yeah, you reminded you me just in time. Yeah. So let's see. Doro bringing up the Guile here for the final game of Winner's Finals. I think he overall has more hours on the Guile than on Cat. Yeah, I mean, so I he think won't be uncomfortable. For sure, although it does, when you play a lot, such a different character and you switch up a lot, it can affect some people. Yeah, like, are you really ready to switch on the fly? Are you used to it? I mean, so far, Quasi had great practice against the Magnificent Guile piloted yes, by Russell. Yes, that's true. So maybe he's warmed up on the matchup too. 100%. We'll see which way it goes. In the conclusion of this Winter. winner's finals. Nice, catches him. Didn't oh, sweep. Drive. Oh, but no punch from the sweep. <laughs> it's two hits. How am I supposed to oh. know? Burn each other out. It is uh, gray mode uh. time. Street Fighter Five. Milk the burnout. It's so difficult. He went for throw. Oh. Does he get a big combo for that? Gets counter on the other side. This is craziness. Nice level one. Dude, this is, they're really fighting right now. Yeah, if Quasi had immunity or wind or OD, he could have maybe gotten through that, but not all oh, buffering. Oh, nice. Yeah, the whiff punish style got medium punch. All right, Quasi set point here to make grand finals. It's in his power. Oh, nice. Okay, Goro. Following the boom in. Oh, okay. What mileage off the boom. A bunch of medium punches scrambling <laughs> for the combo, but it works. I've Throw noticed up. that Quasi's, um, just like the when he mashes, it's so perfect. He's yeah. very good at it. 
Yeah, and he always is uh, more prepared for the scramble situation after a Barry matches than you, and that is if he's not converting. Yes. Right. And with Lily, you know, those have a lot of damage conversion. You do a lot of damage off of that. So it's yeah. good. It's a good skill to have with the character. Yeah, he's getting that crouch gears off the lights. Yeah. Okay, push him to the corner. Ooh, hasn't been burnout, but not going for the DI. Maybe just respecting that a little bit. That is huge. Huge jump in. Has level three on deck. Doesn't spend it. I don't think it would have killed, but now Quad sees him. Oh, the wow, it's still oh, broke. So many hits. Impressive. Nice DI on the other side, though. This should kill with the right combo. No. No, wrong combo. Because he can he spend OD? He could have OD flash kicked, right? Mm. We'll see. Oh, I got him. All right, final, final round. Nice. Winners, finals. Doro Pippa versus Quasimojo. Who will make the grand finals? Quasi really wanted to close that out there. I could see he looked down in okay. disappointment, but okay. he still has a meter lead going into it, so he shouldn't be discouraged. Okay, yeah, uh, drive, drive. Oh, nice. Oh my god, what a big drive loss for Doro. Spending the drive reversal nice. just to get OD Condored on. Another, another one. one. And Quasi's not burnt out yet. He can't block too much. He has to be careful. Oh, the DI the other side. And he got burnt out by it. If Doro can work this to the corner, Quasi's in big trouble. He needs to land level three to try and get out of this. Okay, fighting back now. Nice jump in. Oh, okay, level one to, to fight off the pressure. That's a huge swing, and it keeps Doro out of burnout. If he blocked anymore, he would have burned out too. Mm -hmm. Really, really good presence of mind from Doro. Triple dash in. Okay, plus frames on the other side. Jabs out of it. There's the drive. Oh, but no level three. I would have spent it. could have burnt him. Oh, overhead. Block He's... for your life. They're both burning again. What do you do? Oh, this How do you kill. avoid it? Oh, yeah, meaty geez. chip. Good what a chip. What a good set. Well played for both. They're both, they're both in shock <laughs> yeah. right now. And in pain and shock. Yeah. All right, I got to play loser semis All right. against Russell. So we're going to do another Buffalo Toronto. For Toronto's sake, I'm hoping Russell... <laughs> this is... <laughs> hoping this might be the last one, Russell. <laughs> but okay. Russell could extend our stay here for a bit. <laughs> no, I still had a first to five rebrand. Oh, God. In what? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Regardless, we're staying here. But all right. So we're going to get a Ryu and Guile. No so he's going to win, and then I can stop. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> all right. You can just medium kick forever. I will. You know, it's not, Ryu, it's not Ryu's worst matchup, because you're playing against Russell. The way that Russell plays Guile is like no else. It's like nobody else. But here's Doro, our current waiting in grand finals. What a close set, man. Yeah, damn, man. That was crazy. That, that Lily is something else. But he's very good with Lily. And that's, that's impressive to do on that character. Yeah. So well played to Quasimojo. He's going to be waiting in the Losers Finals for the winner of this game that you're about to see. But uh, I heard that this was his first top three appearance. In Street I, don't, Fighter. I don't believe it. But maybe maybe I, heard, I mis misheard from Monkey. But here we go. This is going to be Ooh. our first. Well, let's say a final first two, but we've been doing first to three. Yeah. All right, nice confirm from Monkey pushing into the corner. Nice solar plexus. Doesn't get a anything past that. Does he get anything off of that light kick? Probably. That light cuts you. Let's confirm. Russell struggling. Level one to finish it. Nice. With the seven golden letters. Yeah, I think one thing I learned just from watching Russell is just he's adapting, and then by the second game he's going to turn it up 100 percent wow. monkey business is also similar in that That's situation true. have you seen what he's done against i think it was roberto right yes yeah so this is going to be a good matchup to see uh-huh it's uh, all the years in russell's back russell's pocket yeah. <laughs> in this game and other games too but all right monkey business is content with playing the fireball game but gets a jump in plus frames now flash kick he knew Monkey knew that he was going to mesh there. Okay, we're going to get to the corner now. Level one on deck. No, he said, I don't care about your modern reactions. I'm going to DIU anyway. This should kill with level one. Nope, doesn't even need it. Doesn't even need it. Strong first game from Monkey. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah he's hot. We're, we're calling him the, the Canadian Slayer today. Oh, yeah? Because he took out Roberto. He took out me. He, he took you out. Yeah. So let's see what he could do against uh, he, Neo. He could just be the triple... triple uh, Triple kill, I yeah. guess. <laughs> All right, nice jump in from Russell. Nice. Look at this damage, by the way. Oh, oh, nice cheeky reset there. Working on his own perfect, gets light kicked out of a perfect. 
Uh, wait, I thought you didn't have that. No, I don't have the lunch. Oh, lunch knee, you mean bazooka knee? No, no, the lunch. Knee. Okay. Oh, it's just a right approach again. Oh my god. Look at the drive meter difference right now. It's a big trouble for Mookie in this run. Is he going to spend level one? No. Just goes for the sweep. What? Where'd that fireball go? That was a reset. <laughs> oh, tried to whip punch with the forward heavy punch. Oh, it's here. That does not work. Okay, he lost his level three now. He has a modern, modern game, magnificent game. What are you doing? Oh, it worked. Don't worry about what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, both get their drive back. We're back to Street Fighter Six. This is. <laughs> I swear these are not consistent interactions right now. All right, and that's just jumping into the fireball. We're going one one in the set. I think we got a set here. Let's see. Nice back dash from Russell. Oh my god, I haven't seen that move in a long time. The OG version at least. Mm -hmm. It's confirmed from pushing to the corner. Okay. He's still looking strong. If, ooh. How did I punish that? Safe jump. Oh. That was a meaty jumping Nice combo, nice setup for Monkey there with the safe jump. All right, Russell gonna always go be the aggressor. Nice, nice punish. It's a jab, punish counter, just into the full combo. Yeah, fighting back with his own tonic boom. OD boom, I should say. Oh, back throw with the punish counter. Okay, Russell looking good in this game right now, looking good. Buy the game. All right. No, nope, not quite. Doesn't spend the level one. Wants to keep it. Oh, that went over the fireball. Okay. Nice. Well fought. <laughs> All right. This is going to be a big pivotal game for this set. You know, you always want to get the lead, of course. Nice. Crouch medium kick. It's not Ken, though. He doesn't get the corner. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be too much. <laughs> Okay, Russell just trying to fight out of this corner in some way. Jump forward, nice. What kind of from anti are we? Mm. That's his uh, crouch. Uh... That should be death. Yeah, that's death. All right, big, big swing here in the set. Monkey taking the third game. Here we go. Fourth game. Is Monkey going to take out every single Canadian? We're about to find out. Yeah. It's all resting on Neo's shoulders. Okay. I think Monkey's got a good read on how Russell wants to play his fireball game right now. Mm -hmm. Jumping a lot of them. OD nice. fireball and the other ones. Oh, doesn't finish the combo. Classic. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yo, uh -oh. modern combos? Uh oh. Uh oh, oh trying to DP, huh? The game is bugging out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Is it the game or just Russell's presence? Oh, okay. Big jump in. Monkey gets a big lead now. Oh, another one. Uh, uh, can he kill level two? Okay, charge level two. Didn't do that. Didn't do enough, but that was. He was. He, he knew that setup. That was raw. He knew that setup. Yeah. He was like, yeah. It's a meaty DP afterwards. That's crazy. All right, Russell set point for Monkey now to make it to the losers finals. It's not looking too good for Russell right now. Hasn't been able to get in rhythm. This is a good start in this round at least. Yeah. Just feeling each other out now. Neutral fireball game starts again. Oh, tries Ooh. to do it. Oh, another great punishment. He takes the throw. Oh. oh. I feel that for Russell. Oh, that should be it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Still in it. Has three bars. Full stack of butter. Okay. Ooh. 
Heavy Dunk King. Nice DP. Yeah, he knew the spacing there. Fight, fighting through the fireball. Both very similar drive. Mm. Nice anti-air. Yeah, he's definitely making Russell jump a lot. Mm -hmm. And Russell hasn't really been doing a lot of these anti-airs on his side. Oh, as soon as I said it. Oh, okay, try to Russell jump it. It's too slow, though. Oh my god, the heavy punches. Try to knock his drive gauge out of his head. Oh, nice little step back there. Gets the level three. Puts him, put Monkey into burnout. Gonna build some of it back, but not gonna be back. Not gonna be enough, yeah. yeah. Monkey still has two bars. He can do a fireball setup or something. Yeah, Chip is a problem right now for Monkey, though. He's not even close. Ugh. And we're going to the final game. Russell dancing on him right now. <laughs> I, think, I think he finally got warmed up, so uh -huh. he's ready to go now. No pressure at all for him. There we go. That's right. Yo, big okay. sexy left. We got small sexy. Small sexy? <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Adding some mental damage to the game. Mm -hmm. Putting Ooh. a bad image in our mind. All right. Final game. Ooh. One of these guys is going home. One of these guys may be going across the border. Well, that may be, definitely. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, big jump in for monkey business. Mm -hmm. And this is mm -hmm. bad business for Russell. Me. Bashes on the safe jump. That uh, should be tough. Uh, yeah, with level one. Actually, no, a lot of scaling. Yeah, just doesn't off the spend it. Yeah, he knew. He knew. Set point again for monkey to make he the... He can do it. So he, this is it to make, send every Canadian. He's going for the tree peak. Mm -hmm. He's going for the tree peak. <laughs> ah, almost burnt himself out. Oh, Ooh. nice cross cut. He has those. Okay. He's saving those for rainy day. <laughs> yeah. Nice air to air from Russell. Oh my God. Right here, there. Oh, Ooh. big confirm. Ooh. Almost a level three. Ooh. Oh. Did he teabag there or that was Yo. DP? Yo. Optimal teabag? That should be. Is he dead? He's not dead. He's still in. He's still in. All right. Has has two bar to work with. Spends level one. Yeah. Breaks through the fireball. Russell laughing it off. Can't believe this is his life. Oh, but it gets hit <sighs> by the jumping heavy kick. And he and completes the three peak. I can't believe the real border guard was here all along. <laughs> Every single Canadian was taken out by Monkey Business. Toronto, we have failed. Oh, man. We have failed in our invasion of Buffalo. And he's celebrating. He is celebrating. No, it was a great win. That was a great win. It was win. a great win. Yeah. But, but all right. Not worth celebrating because he's going straight into Quasimojo, uh -huh. who has been a murderer. Who sent to Monkey to losers? Uh, I did. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So you've now beaten both these players. Yeah. Now, without revealing to them, who do you want to play? Uh, they're both dangerous in their own in their own right. Uh, I probably would have liked to play Neo just okay. to get some Canadian experience. True. I haven't played. Uh, you know, did I play you? I don't no, think I, no, we didn't yeah, play. I don't. I don't think I played any of yeah. the Canadians. So. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> man, man, what the hell? They were all the other sides. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. That's who I was looking forward to playing, just to learn some god tactics. That do that's play true. That's back. true. Okay. No, you, you would learn a lot in terms of like the scramble. He's really good at the situation. Yeah. But we're but gonna... not looking forward to any of these two. Any of these two? <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would be scared of Quasi Mojo because he's on a he's on a heater he's on right now. Yeah, he's, he's on, on a heater, fair. and I would. I don't like to play. Players are on a heater because they're confident about all their decisions. <laughs> but this will be our second last game of the night, of the week. Hope you guys are enjoying your... Is it a long weekend here? Uh, I don't think so, no. <laughs> Did you guys have Friday off? Okay, so not everybody. <laughs> not everybody, no. Okay, yeah, so in Canada and Ontario, at least, we had Friday off. So it's a bit of a long weekend for us. Um, second day, so we are all tomorrow to rest up. I mean, we're going to be bleeding tomorrow, tomorrow at this point. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Straight into it. Losers finals. Nice. BFGC. So the interesting thing here is they both like to spend uh, their drive gauge. They do. So monkey businesses are almost 
in burnout, and he put himself there. A nice counter hit there with the solar plexus. Oh, nice. gets back thrown though. I noticed that Quasi Mojo does get a lot of back throws. He does. He just knows. Ooh, nice Ooh. Oh, the Guile combo. Optimal stuff over here. Okay, but Monkey though, right out of the drive. Sp obviously, spin level one. I like mm -hmm. it. It's smart. Okay, pressuring now Quasi Mojo. Plus frames. Burn him out. Oh, just holding up back. He has no bar. Yeah. Drive impact him and he's dead. Yeah, uh, this should be checkmate situation. No. Oh, what? Playing with his food. You, you see yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That was a checkmate right there. That was there. a checkmate. All right, monkey business kind of gets away with murder here for yeah. the first round. Wow. All right. Nice. nice. Oh, but no combo. Wow. Let's count here on the other side for monkey business. Good confirm. Yeah, those VU buffs are really coming in handy because he's getting a lot of free pressure from the Ashogeki fireball. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice combo. Confirm. Another one? No, no confirm. Oh. That's a regular throw. I'm sure he didn't mean that. Okay. Building up a stock. Trying to go back in. Nice timing for Monkey to jump out. That's a great trade for her. Yeah. Take that. Monkey just trying to create some space right now. And you can't really throw fireballs because she goes through fireballs. So. Mm -hmm. so it's a weird situation to be in. Yep. Both almost out. Oh, oh, Monkey spends all of it to put him into burnout. But he's in chip range now. It's a bit of a problem for him. Oh. Ah. What do you even call that? Starfish? <laughs> the Zangief? Zangief. It is very similar. Well, okay, here, nice. Here goes the command grab. First one of the set. Oh, big whiff on the donkey kick. Nice confirm. Quasi has level three. Nice, nice punish. Nice, nice DP. Okay. Can you confirm level three off of that? I, you, you can confirm this. Oh, you can confirm level two. Not gonna kill though. See, oh, the overhead. how did this thing kill oh, no. kill him? But the level two we did against oh, me killed. Because no. he did a light confirm. <laughs> the light confirm. Oh, man. You did it. You did a heavy dragon lash. Yeah. So he got the punish counter full damage. That was oh, no. nuts. What? Is he still not dead? Nope. Still on the other side here. Monkey puts him in the bird now. Hold whoa, on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. It's suddenly oh. possible. One more hit. All he needs is one hit. Quasi. Playing with his food. Okay. Don't let it's him. It's gonna get... happen. Don't let him. Nice jump. That's not plus. Plus brave. He was so brave. So brave. To not Man. eat an EXDP right Man. there. Man. Yeah. Okay, Quasi Mojo takes the first game. What a close first game. You gotta be confident. 100%. Ooh. Oh, nice. Set up there. What you pressing buttons for? Okay, Converse Fire in this side. Ooh. Yeah, you were right about them like he spend their drive meter. Yeah, they're <laughs> almost out they're, 10 seconds in. Yeah, they're almost burnt out. Ooh. Oh, nice, nice. from Monkey Business. Just doing the jab, just to check what he was doing. And gets the counter DI. And he burns himself out. He better finish it. Nope. Uh, big lead, I'll take <gasps> it. Um. Okay, just a little bit of chip. Ooh. And yeah, goes to the Tatsu. Smart from Monkey Business. His tattoo is so goofy. Do we use tattoo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. There goes the, the command grab. That sounded like a light command grab. Nice Ooh. with punish. Ooh. Is he going to use a super? Nope. Nope. Okay, regular throw. Listen, I think I'm starting to understand something here. What? I think Quasimojo has likes to keep the threat of the super. But not spend it? But not spend it. Just in the back of your head. Just any moment, you might get a super, but he's not going to, you see, he's not going to spend it. Well, I mean, at least that was a good time not to spend it. <laughs> and I think he might use mostly level two. Level two is level, to, yeah, for the... To get out of bad situations. That's true. Maybe only to kill. Yeah. Nice, right here. So, I'm, I'm giving out insider trading information over here. It's all good. You gotta, <laughs> you're the one who has to play him at the end of this, so it doesn't matter if he wins. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Ooh, also, like you were yeah. saying, yeah. Just using level two for damage. Oh, this is the meaty. Ooh. Oh, what a confirm. And he's burnt out. Monkey business has to get in on this point. You have to go in there. 
risk taking the level one, but you have to get in there. Ooh. Nice. Did decent damage. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. okay, catches him. Trying to throw a fireball. Fuzzy. He's not looking good for monkey business. No, not at all. He has a level one to fight back. That gets hit by the Condor Spire. And he is up 2-0 now over Monkey. Man. You're watching this. You got to take notes. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to take notes and, <laughs> and commentate at the same time. <laughs> but all right. Okay. Overhead doesn't work. Nice, nice combos from Monkey Business. Almost got to drive again. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds into the run. Nice. Throw him. Put them over. Oh, nice setup. What that kill? That, that damage. Wow. Okay, he is on set point to make Wait, grand who finals. Who said Lily was not top tier? <laughs> no one said anything about uh, top tier damage. No. Man. Uh, he's making Lily look top tier right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. Nice, nice. Jimmy. Okay, nice. plus frames. Got him jumping, I think. Okay. Ooh, that was a shit. Ooh. Oh, nice. Forced. Forced knockdown. Oh, Ooh. got him. Uh, uh. Is he going to spend level two? No. Nope. Chip. I think he has setups in a corner, so he, yeah. he, he trusted himself. Okay, monkey fighting back. Fighting for his life. Yes. Both with full bars of meter now. Three on this each could side. Be game set for. For fuzzy, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Nice. Is he going to spend it? Nope. Nope. Just goes to the corner. Trying to build back some meter. Oh, Ooh. no. Puts himself up to burnout and eats the counter DI. Uh, uh. Oh, no. Drops it. No, no. Spend a level three. I would have spent it right there. Yeah. Okay. Quasi. Lifeline here. They're trading. Oh, oh, what a jump from monkey business. And takes the takes the game yeah. two one yeah and a little sigh of relief and he, and he dies with full CA yeah I mean like you said and it's it's gonna be like that. <laughs> okay monkey business takes a sigh of relief there he's still alive yeah, it's not over doesn't really mean much oh no to Quasi Mojo because he's still he had two games to spare yeah set up. Ooh. Oh, I think that might have been a command that, grab. That was a command grab. Yeah. I think that's probably the reason why he's not doing command grab. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's still getting used to playing classic instead of modern. Also, apparently, he's only been a pad player for like a week. So he was he was a hitbox player before this. This is a week? That's what he's, that's what Monkey Business said. Golly. I, I, that's what I said. Yo, stick to the pad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Quasi looking really good. And he's going to take it. Set point again. Second set point for him. Yeah, with the way he's playing, I don't think we need any buffs to Lily, because... Yeah, buff Ken. <laughs> buff buff Ken. Ken, guys. Do not buff Lily. Because we both have to swap off Ken. <laughs> we so had to. clearly, there's a problem here. Yeah, we had to. Like, but he's looking super strong right now in this round to take it. Oh, big jump in, though, for Monkey Business. Yeah, he shouldn't burn himself out here. No, he's... Just waste it out. Ooh. Oh, big lift. Plus frames. Nice. Spend it. Yeah, not gonna kill, but it's good damage. Nice. Quasi wants to get in. You know, he is very close, and that's it. Quasi takes it over Monkey Business 3 1, advances to the grand finals. Amazing. Amazing. And you're gonna have to play. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> GG's. GG's Monkey Business. Well played. Great run for Monkey. He took out all the Canadians. That's something to be proud of. He has the. <laughs> No matter what anyone's going to remember from this tournament, they're going to remember that. Oh, yeah. They might not even remember who won. No offense. They're going to remember that they took oh, out all three Canadians. God. So well played from, from, well played uh, from Monkey Business. Monkey Business. He definitely went out swinging. He did. He definitely did. Definitely proud of him. Well played. <laughs> all right. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yes. That grand finals is a run back of winner's finals. Indeed. At many Indeed. tournaments. So... Correct me if I'm wrong, but did I miss here? Is this his first time in top three? Um, uh, no, 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 no. But winner's path, I think. It winner's, was path. winner's path. Okay, but, okay. Yeah. For for who? Actually, um, I think both. Both. Okay. Maybe what about for Quasi though? Has he ever been in top three? At the uh, 
I don't know, he's placed well at like the monthlies. He hasn't been able to make as many Saturdays until recently. Um, I think he's gotten third before. I think okay. Doro has gotten, I don't know, out of my record. I, I make the graphic every week and I, I post the top eighter and <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, edit yeah. the top three picture. At least, thanks for reminding me that we got to take a picture with this uh, BFGC flag here. Okay. Uh, maybe one with the top three and then one with you and Russell and the Canadians. Sounds go. good, yeah, sounds good, sounds fun. good. That'll be fun. But yeah, this is going to be our grand finals. This is our winner's finals. Yeah. And it was a 3-2 super close set. Yeah, I was happy for that. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, Quasi came in today with such limited confidence playing on like, the pad. Yeah. We played casuals at first, and he was like, damn, dude, that was free. It was like, yeah. This is not me saying, like, oh, damn, I'm so much better than yeah. like I did happen to 5 0 in casuals. Then yeah. we played another set after a quick break, and suddenly he was up 4 1. I was like, oh, God, he has my number now. Yeah. Turns out in tournament, he still did. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I was mean, really afraid of that OD Condor Spire, especially if I lose the Dungeon Fireball or the yeah. OD Fireball 2. Dude, and the Condor that's Spire. why I swapped off Ken immediately because I noticed that I have no answer for this in this moment. Yeah. So I was like, I can't do it with, with Ken. He's really great at spacing even the regular Spires without Windstock. Sometimes I lose track of if she had a Windstock or not by the time I look up. And then I swing um, into lights, he confirms. And he saves the command grab for when he's low on drive so he can go back far away, get some wind up, or for when it'll kill, basically. Yeah. Hey, we were talking about that, actually, that she died, he died level three a lot. Yeah. And uh, it ended up not mattering at the end of the day, but maybe something to look at in the future, but I mean, what am I to say? He's, he's doing really well on a character that you don't really see. I mean, yeah, you do have to remember if there were, if he were to have spent super a couple times in winner's finals, he would be the winner's yeah. side grand finalist. Yeah, true. A couple of those key hits where he ended up juggling earlier in the combos so that level three became on a disallowed. Yeah. So those were the challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they'll manifest again. Maybe he's been thinking about it. He's had more time to get even hotter playing against the likes of the loser's finalists. This is true. So it's interesting, Doro went back to Ken. Yeah. After ending the set on Guile. Yeah, maybe. I, I think he felt the Guile was a little rusty compared to the Ken. That's true. He true. got that counter hit there, went for the throw afterwards. Yeah. Could have gotten a, a medium punch. Nice. Full target combo, but here we go. Doro again. Nice. Throw loops. Huge to life. Baby. Nice. Zoom it's the threat of the throw loop that's the biggest deal there. Mm -hmm. And he had plenty of drive to kill with. Didn't even have to burn out that round. Okay. That's a button that I thought I could drive impact a little more effectively, but I ended up pressing against it a little bit late. That Lily Sand Medium punch. Yeah, very good. Yeah. It doesn't go for the corner. Maybe tried to, but maybe miss a but all good. Ooh, drive reversal. Gonna be struggling now if Quasi gets the wind stock, but not letting him. Yeah, staying close. Okay, Spent nice. Spent the wind stock immediately. Yeah, just trying to get the screen space screen space to build drive back while they're both orange. It's a pretty critical moment if anybody comes too late on the DP because it was empty jump from Doro. Very clever. Spent level two right away, leaving Quasi at half a drive bar. Yeah. A little bit less. One heavy punch should take it away though. Exactly. That's the threat of it though. Oh, so another shimmy. That's why you went for throw. I love kind of going for the illogical option because Quasi did have level two and level one as reversals. Heavy punch would boost to those. Mm -hmm. The, full plate. the threat of level two is reversal. It makes Fireball not a safe meaty anymore. So. Yep. Well, really good, really good run. Uh, just game, sorry, from Doro. Right. Oh, oh the Jinrai no. loops. Jin loops. Nice DI. Though. DI good is a follow. great option against it. I gotta use that myself. Good follow. So it's only a punish if it's not the low. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Has to be the overhead or, or the if heavy. he goes for the heavy for some reason. Which but that's generally only on hits. Yeah. Nice run DP from the faraway fireball. Ken classic. I think it's also a punish if it's if it's dry though. Mm. Yeah. It makes, sense. it makes sense. But Quasi's still at a life deficit. Goro just playing with the screen space. Goes for a jump in. Nice overhead. Little cheeky there. Yeah, last. When it's the last hit though, and you have a big life lead, you could afford the cheekiness. Oh yeah. I mean it's not even unsafe in this game, so Yeah. Honestly, exactly. it's just you're taking the strike throw and that's about it. The the real risk is all the time he spent running forward to do it. Exactly. Yeah. That's Street Fighter 6. Hit the staggered nice. jabs there. Nice. Drive reversal. He has a huge drive lead for this. Yeah, Quasi's been in a drive deficit basically since the start of the set. What did you call him? A, a drive engineer, what was it? Oh, yeah. Ken is the Toyota Camry of SF6. There you he go. He's the, uh, the most fuel efficient, drive efficient driver ever piloted. Oh! Love this combo. Yo. And he actually gets amazing corner carry despite side switching at one point in the combo with yeah. Dragon Lash. Very cool. Sweep, yeah, that's safe. 
pretty close to the corner. Just a millimeter out. Another one, and that should be it. Yeah, second time's the charm, and it hit, so there's no scaling. If it were blocked, I don't think he'd be oh, able to kill. It's not dead. Wow, he didn't build level one either. Okay, but just shy of it. In a great position. Isn't burnout, but has the level one in his back pocket. Lily CA is kind of the comeback play here. Nice there. DP. Nice. Dora All right. convincingly up to what doing, looking even better than he did in winner's finals. So if Fozzy wants to win, this is the furthest path. Yeah. <laughs> the long trek begins now. The long trek. If anywhere a comeback were to happen, it is now. It has to be. God, okay. I'm excited. Here we go. Nice. Immediately. Just not afraid. You gotta, you gotta show you're not afraid. Okay, have you Jin Rai first? We've seen it. Jin Rai, oh my god, I'm doing yeah. it again. I'm doing <laughs> it again. The difference? <laughs> Are you trying this combo again? It's a little bit weird in the corner. Yeah. Once you hit the corner, you don't know which side you're on all the time. Both reds are working. Jin Rai loops. Another overhead. Ah, there's the DI. That's the coup d'etat, the icing on the cake. Uh, can't kill, though. Two. Nice little reset. I like that. The reset that doesn't even kill. <laughs> Well, they could have milked the combo a little more first. True. Right? <laughs> could maybe go for a, a safe, safe jump or something. Yeah. Nice, got him though. Here we go, set point, tournament point for Doro Pippa. We hype up the loser's run so much for Quasi, but it was just a loser set, it seems. And Doro Pippa studying in the background and commentating. He must yeah. have been paying razor sharp attention well, while commentating. We were saying that you, you gotta study the match. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. And he did. Oh, nice. Okay, gets it. I love Odi Tatsu. So, oh, is, he, is he dead? He's no, dead. no, not if, he's, if uh, he, he spent it, maybe, but. He would have needed to have done Crouch Heavy Punch, Heavy Jin Rai, yeah. Odi Drag, and Lash Hole. Yes. Yeah. But in a great, great position. Quasi has CA. And there nice. it is with the seven Perfect. golden. Doro Pippa takes it 3-0 and wins BCFG Street Fighter 6. That's Doro Pippa with eight letters, seven shining, all caps, letters spelling perfect. Perfect. That's pretty much how he was looking at that last set. Perfect KO. Oh, yeah. what a great run from Quasi, though. Yeah. What honestly. a great run. Awesome. He did take out some Canadians. He did it on his secondary choice of yes. controller. Who knows what it'll be called. Yes. He's got he battle bumps on he took, you took all three Canadians out of the tournament. But he sent two Canadians down. To me, right? right. So we basically, it was an alley oop. Yeah. And you sent them, you sent them help. But Doro Pippa takes it. So GG's to Doro. Yeah, Doro also holding it down in commentary for most of the night, too. Kind of putting the scene on no his breaks. back right now. No breaks. You want to interview him? I'll step off. Yeah, sure. Hey, Doro, come over. Send, this, send him home. Send him home. Monkey business, here's Doro. All right, here he is, uh, the tournament winner himself, commentator, competitor. <laughs> How do you feel after the win? I mean, it feels amazing. Uh, I think I definitely have some some cheats because yeah. I watched him play. Oh, yeah, that's a definitely a big yeah. uh, advantage. And How did you feel? Like, why did you go back to the Ken? Yeah, because I felt like I could shimmy better with Ken. And I, and I was seeing that, I think Monkey Business played him before I played him, right? Mm -hmm. And he was just like teching every time you're we trying mm. to put some pressure on him. Yeah, I did notice you got two so, big shimmies. Yeah, I had two big shimmies, which put a lot of pressure on him, and I was able to get my throw game going. Yeah. He, he texts a lot. And I think those two those two adjustments I did helped out. Yeah, for sure. And for after sure. that, it was just maintaining and making sure that I'm keeping him in the corner, keeping him guessing between the tech throw and the, the DI, mm -hmm. which I, I still don't understand why people don't use DI. It makes yeah, sense if yeah. this works. So, no, you made it work. You got him in the corner a bunch of times, yeah. and even just in general. Yeah. But yeah, no, great run. Great run for both of you. Yeah. You didn't end up playing any Canadians. No. Which is crazy. No. So which if you guys are, are still available, I'm here. <laughs> I need some sets. I need to get better. Well, it sounds good, but unfortunately, we, oh, gotta, can, we gotta go back across the border. <laughs> oh, man. But all right, so we're gonna send it off here. I've been Googie. Doro Pippa. Doro Pippa, the winner. Commentator extraordinaire. Oh yeah! Thank you for having me, guys. It's been an, it's been an honor. It's been great. I'll, I'm sure I'll be back, but we'll hope to see some of you back here, uh, back in Toronto in April, and whenever else we'll see each other throughout the summer. But I've been Googie, Dora Pippa. Good night, guys. Good night.